Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't. For my outfit Good morning. Uh, it's a very crappy, rainy, cold day here on Long Island. I gotta change this. Gotta be my lawn. But we're here for some NHL trade deadline coverage. If you don't know me, if you're brand new, I'm Saps, and welcome to this beautiful trade deadline day. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? How was your weekend? How was your beautiful weekend? I had a good weekend. I had a very good weekend. It was fun. Uh, we're going to go over some trades here that went overnight, unfortunately. <laughs> there were a lot of trades overnight. There were about four in about an hour range, which was very upsetting. But we will be talking about some trades that have been getting made over the last few days. And obviously, we'll see what happens uh We'll see what happens throughout the rest of the day. I mean, most of the big tickets are gone, but there still definitely could be expansion moves made. Might see some teams who you might not even think we're going to make a trade, such as the Rangers, make a move because of uh, the expansion draft coming up in June. So, all right, I think I know where I want to start, and I want to talk to you guys. Jennifer, what's going on? Louie, Julian, my usuals, what's going on? Guys, Sam, Maniac. Yeah, they're right. they got to save some trades. Jeez. Yeah, kids were buzzing last night. It's unfortunate they couldn't get the job done. But you know what? That's hockey sometimes. What's up, Jaden? Lodge? Python? What's up, Yulio? Yuliko. All right. Um, Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. It was pretty good. Um, Yeah, hopefully this is going to be a good trade deadline. Hopefully we see some moves made. If the Rangers make any moves, I'd be surprised. But like I said, for expansion reasons... Might want, might see a move being made. You don't know. Um, the Rangers also have some salary cap that they can possibly get a dump in. You know what I mean? Like they can get a guy who could be a veteran, could be a veteran guy who 
isn't really helping out his team, and that team wants to go chase a cup, we might dump him, but we also get something good in return too. So we'll see. Might just might just be able to take his cap. So we'll see. Um, yeah, Rangers' performance is good last night. It, was, it is what it is. It is what it is at that point. Um, of course, you would love for them to get the two points, but I mean that's hockey. Tough loss. I was so hyped. Thought they were gonna win. Hey, we're tied with Philly. Four points behind Boston teams, and you never know. It's that's the beauty about hockey. It's the beauty about this season that you're probably never gonna be out until the last days of the season. <laughs> uh, would you sell Blackwell with his value right now? Um, I don't know how much he's really up there, but I can definitely see him getting moved. I don't see him fitting in this Rangers lineup in the next couple seasons. I I just don't. I think he's having an outstanding season. I think he's peaking. I don't, know, I don't think he can consistently do this, but we'll see. All right, so I want to start off with we've seen already two three-way deals, which I think is very peculiar, and they both involve the Columbus Blue Jackets. So on April 10th, this was on Friday, we saw the Columbus Blue Jackets get, there's just a break in trade. Kul Someone said Kulikov to Edmonton. That is true. The Devils send him to Edmonton for a draft pick. We'll, uh, I'll let you know what that draft pick is. Uh, the Golden Knights haven't called a quits on the deadline. Vegas is still interested in acquiring a forward, according to the sources. Placing Patrick Brown in LTIR uh, opens a small bit of cap. Yeah, there could be some options for them. So the three-way trade on Friday, Tampa Bay got David Savard from Columbus but and Brian Lashoff from Detroit. But this is where the three-way trade goes. Columbus gets a first and a third, a first in 2021, and a third in 2022. And then they were originally moved to Detroit. For uh, Detroit to retain half of his salary, two and a half million, and then Tampa Bay also gave Detroit a fourth round pick for doing that, and then they also sent Brian Lash off to Detroit. Ah, uh, sorry, to Tampa. So it's Savard and Lash off to Tampa Bay, a fourth round pick to Detroit, which was Tampa Bay's, and a first and a third to Columbus. Listen, Columbus is selling. Columbus is selling, plain and simple. Um, they just haven't really been as dominant defensively as they were over the last few years. I think depth has a lot to do with that. I think coaching maybe has a lot to do with that. I know you guys like to really bash on torts, but I mean, when your team's really not performing defensively, Wierenski's now out for the rest of the season. Seth Jones isn't playing up to that standard where he is that top defenseman on that team. Um, you can tell that they're selling. It is what it is. Uh, we get to another trade that they made, which is very unfortunate. I mean, I saw it coming, but it is what it is. So on Saturday, we had Jonas Siegenthaler going back, uh, going to the New Jersey Devils for a 2021 conditional third round pick. That almost acts as if like Washington's selling. They're obviously not. They're making a roster spot. They're trying to bring in someone else or just clear some cap. It was only 800,000, but it was a third round pick going to the Devils and there's conditions on that. We also got Hayden Verbeek going to Detroit. Uh, along with the 2021 fifth round pick. This was also on Saturday. Uh, in exchange for John Merrill. So John Merrill is a Montreal Canadian. John Merrill provides some defensive depth, especially with Victor Mete now not being most likely on the roster for the future for Montreal. And then also on Friday, another three-way trade. It was a first and a fourth round pick from Toronto going to Columbus. Again, it goes through San Jose to retain half a salary of Nick Foligno. Uh, and then Toronto also gives San Jose a fourth-round pick for doing that. And Stefan Nason and Nick Foligno are now Toronto Maple Leafs. I think Nick Foligno will be a great fit for Toronto. I think he provides that leadership. I think he provides a really good third or fourth-line depth. He, he's a good player to where a, a team like Toronto could possibly win a championship because of that guy. You know, I, I know a lot of people wanted Taylor Hall to go to Toronto. And I think this might be a better move, Nick Foligno. I think he fits the mold of Toronto well. What they're missing, I don't really know what they're missing too much. Maybe a little bit of depth. A little, a little bit of gritty depth and leadership. They get that with Nick Foligno. Any Rangers? Nah, nothing, no, nothing Rangers right now, but there's still plenty of time. I really want to get into that Jeff Carter deal too, because that was crazy. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Out of a Clay Metze. Wow. Just can't believe Boston got home. Uh, they make it look so easy. We could have gotten him for nothing, honestly. Yeah, true. True, yeah. I mean, honestly, Buffalo, I do want to talk about Taylor Hall, too, in a little bit uh, when we get up to his trade. Um, but, yeah, the selling price for Taylor Hall was very low, which is unfortunate. Uh, also, on Friday, this no, I'm sorry, this was Saturday night. This was Saturday. Yes. Um, oh, no, today's the 12th. So, this is Sunday's trades. I'm sorry. I apologize. 
Um, so the uh, the Rubik and Merrill trade was Saturday. No, Sunday, and the Jonas Dollar and third round pick was also Sunday. So yesterday we also had Toronto gaining goaltending depth, plain and simple. David Rich uh, half retained again. Toronto's really trying to squeeze their money, squeeze their pockets. Uh, for a 2022 third round pick, I think once Nick Felino was acquired by the Maple Leafs, my hair is terrible. That's why I'm putting my hood up. I apologize. Um, once Nick Felino was acquired by Toronto, I kind of rid them off of the Taylor Hall um, lottery just because how many wingers are you going to get? How many spots can you fill? I know you're trying to either protect injury as well, but that's just not going to happen. So they shifted their focus towards the goalie. And they get a really good number three guy, I would say, now in that lineup. Um, it's David Riddich uh, from Calgary. And it looks like Calgary is starting to sell as well, which is unfortunate because Calgary has always been in a spot where they're on the cusp. They could be really good. They could be really bad. This year, they're not too good, along with Vancouver, which really sucks. Uh, last night, after the Rangers and Islanders game, the Islanders go out and get Braden Coburn, a Stanley Cup champion with the Tampa Bay Lightning, who was moved uh, right after they kind of won the cup to Ottawa, the, uh, it was an exchange for a 2022 seventh round pick to the Islanders. Brandon Comer, defensive depth, plain and simple. Boston also got Mike Riley. Mike Riley in exchange for a 2022 third round pick to the Ottawa Senators. Defensive depth once again, uh, this time for Boston. Then, this was like one of the biggest shocks I saw. This is one of the biggest shocks that I saw. The Los Angeles Kings acquire two conditional picks, one in 22, a third rounder, one in 2023, a fourth rounder. Uh, then the conditions are the 22 third rounder can upgrade to a second if the Penguins reach the finals and Carter plays in at least 50 games, uh, at least 50% of the games. And the 23 fourth rounder can upgrade to a third if Carter plays in at least 50 games during the next season because he is on contract for this season and next season, except... LA is going to retain half of his salary, so he's only going to get paid $2.6 million. Jeff Carter to the Pittsburgh Penguins. This helps him out a lot, especially if Geno Malkin's not ready. Jeff Carter could provide as easily a second-line center for a team in Pittsburgh who play fast and play hard, and that's Jeff Carter's style. Uh, what kind of moves do you think the Rangers will make today, if any? Expansion, maybe? You know, take expansion into consideration. Maybe try to get rid of a guy like Brendan Smith. Maybe a team is interested in that. Um... But, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that can happen today, and we'll see what happens. Dustin, what's going on? Ranger game was fun yesterday. It is what it is. Uh, could the Rangers make a push but for Ricard or Ayafalo? I would like I would like Ayafalo just because I think he is a center, and I know Ricard's a winger. Um, Ayafalo is Ayafalo. Ayafalo. Yeah, he plays center. I would like him. Um, he's definitely not been doing as good as he was in the past seasons. He had a four to three point season. I mean, he's doing an okay season. Eleven goals, fourteen apples. Um, how many trades are you gonna make with LA though? <laughs> At some point, they're gonna have all the Rangers. But I like Ayafalo. Raquel, I love Raquel, but I too many wingers. Too many wingers. Uh, David Soar got traded twice. Yeah, it was a three way trade. Uh, I went over it before. It was he went through Detroit just so Detroit can retain half his salary. Um, and then last time we get hit with the bomb, and we knew it was coming. Taylor Hall, along with Curtis Lazar, to the Boston Bruins in exchange for Anders Bjork and a 2021 second round pick. If you think about it, um, where was that? Nick Foligno was worth more than Taylor Hall at this deadline because of how bad Taylor Hall's been doing on Buffalo. And they also throw in Curtis Lazar. And in my opinion, the only reason why you got that second round pick was because of Curtis Lazar. Um, Buffalo retained half their salary. Uh, yeah, so they keep half of Hall, $4 million. It's only for this next 20 games for Buffalo. Um, but Buffalo, obviously, selling. They said, screw it, let's just throw in Curtis Lazar, too. Um, this is a season for Taylor Hall where if he doesn't have a good 20-something games left with Bolson for the regular season and a good playoffs, he will not get a big enough bag that he wants. He has not even touched what he was in that MVP season since then. And it sucks because he's he's a great player. He's a first overall pick. And honestly, I can definitely see him becoming that MVP caliber type player again. But, I mean, playing with Buffalo, that didn't really help you. So, we'll see what happens for Buffalo. Uh, excuse me, for Boston with Hall as time goes on. 
I think it helps them. I do. I think it definitely provides depth. But most concerning right now for Boston is their defensive depth getting hurt. They have been banged up all year. They've been banged up all year. Goche won't be with us for long Calling it today, calling him out. Eh, that would be unfortunate, but I understand. I'd have to find a new intro. <laughs> uh, yeah, waiver, I'll go through the waiver claims in a few. Um, it should have already been released, right? Yeah, Ottawa claims Victor Mete off waivers. Dallas claims Votnin. I knew Sami Votnin was going to get claimed because there's no way this close to the deadline. He got traded last deadline, too. There's no way this close to the deadline he was going to get unclaimed by a team who potentially needs that kind of defensive depth. So I understand why Dallas took him especially. Um, and as for Mete, man, I can't believe Montreal really let him go. I think he is a little overhyped. I think he's just not good enough for his size, in my opinion. Not saying he's a bad player. But I'm saying he's a small dude, not too big and strong yet. A um, little overhyped, but I think he definitely has some skill and potential there. I don't think he would fit anywhere on the Rangers roster, especially within the coming years for defensemen. Don't think that was going to work at all. Um, but I'm happy Ottawa gets him. Another experiment Ottawa gets a toy with. <laughs> What's up, Luke? How are you? Yeah, cool. Cop, you get traded. We'll, uh, we'll get over that. We'll go over that in a few. Really hope we can find a way to move Tony today. Yeah, honestly, that would be ideal, Maniac, but I don't think that's going to happen. In the, in the most ideal situation for the New York Rangers is for him to get picked up in the expansion draft. I think that's the best bet for the Rangers. If you think about it, you want to get rid of him. No matter what he does in the future, it is what it is. So the last thing you want to do is give something up for him. And, you know, it's like it kind of just – I'd rather him just get picked up for nothing. You know, I'd rather the Rangers get nothing in return – <laughs> than to, yeah, I'd rather Rangers get nothing in return than they get something for him and that not work out. Um, listen, there's a lot of players in play. We're going to see a lot of surprises, I guarantee it. We have two hours, 49 minutes left. I just said, I'd love to be a Bruin for years. How is there a cap after this season? Because he's not going to sign. He wants money. He wants a lot of money. He wants a bag. Taylor Hall is a bag kind of guy. They have nothing in space right now, obviously, but after this season, they got total uh, projected caps. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I mean, they're going to have to sign. What are they going to do with Tuka Rask after this year? Brandon Carlo, great defenseman, 24-year-old. He is hurt right now, but he's an RFA after this season. Andre Kasha, they're probably not going to bring back. Uh, he's also hurt. Um, Krejci's a free agent. And he's getting paid 7.2. I don't know what they're going to do with him. Taylor Hall, obviously, four, and a, uh, 4 million. Nick Ritchie, RFA, 25 years old. He's getting paid 1.5. Sean Corrali, 1.3. You know, there's a lot. There's a, there's a situation with Boston right now. They are, they're so deep, and their roster is very well constructed. They have a lot of key pieces to really win them a cup. That's why they went to a Stanley Cup Finals two years ago. But... Can they keep all these pieces together? David Krejci is going to be 35 years old when he signs his new deal. Is he going to get $7.5 million again? Probably not. Does he want to? I doubt he's going to get that from another team, especially with the salary cap situation because of the COVID pause. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and then, obviously, you got, you got guys like Marshawn and Bergeron. Eh, Bergeron's only locked up for two more years, but Marshawn's like another four years, and Coyle's another five years. Maddie, what's going on, baby? So a mock trade of Lafreniere for Barkov. Yeah, okay. Do you think the Rangers get into the playoffs? And even though the Rangers lost that sign, that one point was so huge. Um, I think it's gonna come down to the end. So I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> oh, what's up, Yako? To the Ducks, Sammy Niku, first round pick in 2021, parole to Jets, Josh Manson, 57 retained. That's a lot of moving pieces. Hold on, let me think. I don't know who Jansen Harkins is. Why would why would Anaheim want Matthew Perot? Is I'm guessing J Jansen Harkins is a prospect. Has to be because that doesn't work for Anaheim at all. Bruins only have a few years left before their core players start to age. Listen, they're already old. I just said what did I say? Crazy was thirty seven? Oh, uh, thirty five. Bergeron's thirty six after this year. You know what I mean? Like when they sign their new well, Bergeron's not gonna sign a new deal, but. Pierre LeBron saying that Chicago has acquired Adam Gaudet. I have to 
glue my eyes to Twitter. Adam go dead to Chicago for Matthew Highmore. Really? Well, this is what I said before. What did I just say about Vancouver and Calgary not playing well? This is what's going to happen. And when you sign Tanner Pierce into an extension and Thatcher Demko to an extension, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have to end up selling some of your guys. Listen, that's a great depth piece for Chicago, but are they in the race? They are in the race technically, but are they trying to go for it? Is this them trying to go for it? Who does this benefit? You know what I mean? This is kind of like a this is kind of a trade where it's That's a crazy trade actually. It's small. It's small, but that's a little weird of a trade. All right. Listen. Um it's a forward for a forward, so maybe change the scenery for both. That's a pretty good trade though. I like that trade. That's a trade that I want. You know, I want those kinds of trades. Depth pieces for depth pieces that could be stars. All right. Yeah, so the uh, Kulikov trade. I had to find it now. All right, so it's Kulikov to, Jer uh, it's Kulikov to Edmonton from Jersey for a conditional pick. Penguins did get Jeff Carter. Yep, we talked about that. Hype for the Devils Rangers series this week. Gonna gonna go tomorrow. Solid. Yeah, I'm excited. Do you think the Rangers can make a push? Um, absolutely. I think this the, every team in this division is so good except for Buffalo this year. Um, you never know. You never know. It's just it's so. You never know. Uh, what do I think we can get for Smith? We can like a pick, most likely a pick, a draft pick. Um, this is Matt probably texting me. No doubt, my mind is Matt. Oh nope. I actually have to send my friend the link to the stream. She wants to watch. Give me a second here. I wish I could find my own video. Panarin and Kreider not in practice today for maintenance. Did see that. Did see that. I mean, Panarin looked like he had a heating pad on too last night, which was annoying. I should have just sat him out, in my opinion. But not sit him out like for the game, but once you saw that he was hurt, it was really worth him playing. But it is what it is. Uh, top six was weak last night. Top six was weak for the Rangers. Definitely could have seen a little bit more from the Rangers. Top six guys. Especially Zabana Jack Kreider. Kreider was a ghost. Kreider took that penalty. That was the only time I saw him. What happens to Booch today? Because he's going to be expensive. He's going to be expensive and he's also going to be exposed in the, in the, um, in the expansion draft too. You know? We don't, you never know. You never know. Um, there could be, like, Jeff Gordon right now has three phones on him. He's easily got three phones on him. He's trying to make a deal. No doubt in my mind. No, I don't know. But we'll see. They need to take three out of four uh, versus Jersey, and Buffalo could beat the Bruins tomorrow. Yeah, the Bruins and, the Bruins and Sabres play each other a lot over the next couple of weeks, so we need Buffalo to really step up. <laughs> Kreider has to be hurt. He's been brutal. Zabanaj needs to be demoted or sat down. He's pissed. He's pissed. Um, I don't think Kreider's is hurt, but I think he's definitely in that streak where guy put up nine goals in, in three minutes and then – Obviously, he's on the streak. No way the Rangers are going to make a trade for Jack Eichel. No, they're not. They're not. They will not. I don't want Eichel. I've told you this multiple times, guys. I do not want Eichel. Neeson knows. Neeson knows I don't want Eichel. It's not worth it. Um. Yeah, so the waiver claims were stars. Claiming Sammy Vatanen from the Devils. It sucks for the Devils, too. I'm surprised you couldn't get a trade for him. And then the Senators claim Victor Mete. Who I don't think he would have gotten a trade for, in my opinion. Uh, do you see Nolan Patrick getting moved? His name popped up in a lot of trade rooms. I could definitely see him getting moved. Simply, he's either going to get moved or picked up in the expansion. I don't think Nolan Patrick will be a Philadelphia Flyer after this season, which really stinks, too. It stinks. He's a great player. He's got a lot of potential. A few injuries really derailed some of his... Um... Oh, I had a sneeze. Sorry, it really helped uh, hurt his development and progress uh, for Nolan Patrick after those injuries. Uh, oh, yeah, I just sneezed my brains out. Oh, Max, thank you, man. Thank you, Nisa. <laughs> my name is Mikey. You never have to wonder. Mikey, Mike, Michael, 
Michael. That's my name. But no one calls me Michael. It's either Mike, Mikey, or Saps. I'd take Eichel for D'Angelo and Howdy. You know what? Honestly, Kevin Adams might be tempted at this point. He might be tempted to take anything because he knows his players aren't in high value right now. So, um, you never know. Okay, okay. We're definitely going to start seeing some some pieces getting moved. And we already know we're going to see a lot of after 3 p.m. deals because we did see that a lot over the last few seasons. Um, but, yeah. Crider and a second rounder for Joel Farabee. They're not going to move Crider simply because Crider just signed a big deal and has a no-move clause. He's got not a no-move clause. What is it, no trade? No, it is a no-move. It's a full no-move. So he's got to waive it, and I, he won't for Philly, which is unfortunate. Because I know the Rangers could probably dodge a bullet there, but they're, I, you know, I, I vouched for him to sign. I vouched for them to sign him. I wanted Chris Crider to say Ranger. Um, 29 years old. You don't know. I apologize. I'm getting a phone call. Shut up. Uh, that whole trade was trash. I mean, there wasn't going to get, you weren't going to get anything for it. How did Savard, Palmieri, and Zajac Felino get first, but not him? Because that's how bad Taylor Hall's been, and the morale and mental state that Kevin Adams is in, he's probably not in the mood to, like, really negotiate big deals. Zippy's getting in a bag soon. He will. He will. Uh, he's actually surprised. I didn't even know he had a no-move clause, which I think is pretty funny. Farabee would be awesome, but I don't see that happening. Yeah, he's not going to get traded. Farabee, at least. A lot of Canucks fans on Twitter are pissed about the Gordette trade. They loved Gordette. Yeah, Gordette's a great team player. Absolutely. Shut up. This freaking grub up commercial is the worst commercial of all time. With the people just dancing. Stop it. Yeah, Jaden. Yeah, last year's trade deadline was a movie. <laughs> It was crazy. Uh, thoughts on Carter to, to Pittsburgh. Nick, I think that's a great trade for Pittsburgh. Um, this year and next year, I'm like, eh. If he had one year left, I would have understand rental. But you're going to have to have him next year too. Um, if Geno's not ready by playoff time, which I don't think he will. I think he will be ready. Um, good depth piece. Good veteran who's won cups before. He's played on Olympic teams with Sid. He knows Sid and Latang. I think it's a good trade for Pittsburgh. And I think that's a Brandon Burke trade. Um, yeah, Berkey trade. Um, Brian Burke trade. That's a Brian Burke trade. I said Brandon Burke, the Islanders announcer. That's a good Brian Burke trade, 100%. Um, knowing what he wants and going to get it. It's smart. It is smart. <laughs> you know, like the Geico commercial. Thomas, yeah, the Rangers could potentially do something tonight. Um, expansion draft reasons. They're not going to want to go buy or sell anyone, but that they're going to make hockey deals. They're going to make hockey deals. Whatever falls on the Jeff Gordon's lap is what's going to happen. FanDuel's commercials are the worst. All those commercials are bad. Hoping the Owls don't get Raquel. I don't think the Owls are done dealing. How much more roster space can you really have, you know? they Because I'm not going to say Anders Lee can come back. But I'm, I, if he's ready to go in the playoffs, he's going to play. Um... And then you just got Palmieri and Zajac and your your projected cap space. You have nothing. You have nothing in your cap, so you'd have to get rid of a, a guy who's got makes a lot of money, and they're not going to move any of those guys because they're all their core. Um, I think their defense is solid. I think their defense is set. I think getting Braden Colburn is actually a pretty cool move. Um, I think the Islanders are good. I think they're going to be good with they roll what they have to roll in with uh, this trade deadline. And then to the playoffs. And getting that second rounder for Devontae's was smart. Good job by Lou Lamorello to get that second. Because now you were able to trade your second. Smart. Smart. Andrews out for playoffs. Alright. Well, I mean, we'll see. But I know he had surgery a few months ago. But or was how long ago? Was it two months ago? A month ago? I don't know, man. I just feel like he still can come back. I really do. 
I don't know. We'll see. Probably not, but I want to see him come back. I want to see him come back. The top six plays terrible under DQ. Yeah, I think they just have off nights, and they're very noticeable off nights. I'm in my algebra class right now, virtually. My professors expect us to copy down notes. Excuse me. Trade deadline day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, Mike, I will be trade to Rangers for Derek Stepan. Michael Acosta, what's going on? <laughs> I wish. Discover card is uh, terrible. I don't know. I, I don't like the DoorDash commercial at all. Nah, the, the Grubhub commercial. It's uh It's just not fun. It's very annoying song. I don't enjoy it. Um, I mean, if all the Rangers were at practice, then I doubt they're getting moved. You know, except for Kreider and Panarin, they weren't at practice just because. Maintenance, but. All right, so Greg Wyshynski tweeted this out 10 hours ago. So, like, when Hall was dealt. Sabres GM Kevin Adams traded Eric Stoll. Taylor Hall, Brandon Montour for a second, two thirds, a fifth, and Anders Bjork. Wow. Wow. Yo, that's actually terrible. <laughs> you could easily have gotten a first round pick for either Hall or Stoll or even Montour for how some defensemen get paid. They get so much they get paid so much differently than forwards at deadlines. Because there's just a plethora of forwards available at deadlines and like defensemen kind of have a higher price. That's crazy, man. <laughs> yeah, crowds of Panarin are maintenance. Go on Twitter and check out Kincaid's stick pa sick pads on Ranger Twitter. Oh, those are cool. Those are pretty cool. Those are clean. I like the red. Those are pretty cool. Does anyone have a good Rangers reporter I can follow on Twitter? I usually get Vince, but he's out of work. Molly Walker is my secondary if I can't, if Vince is, like, out. He just had a kid. Congratulations, Vince Marcogliano of USA Today. Yeah, Molly Walker is usually my secondary. Uh, I forgot. What is she? New York Post? No, she's not New York Post, is she? Molly. Molly Walker. And, of course, uh, Twitter sucks with the search of accounts. So I got to go to Vince. Yeah, Molly Walker. So Vince Marcogliano is USA Today. And Molly Walker is... Ah, man. I love I love that I can find her account right now. Does anyone know where Molly Walker works for? I wish I could find where Molly Walker works. But I don't know. But that's my girl. Molly's in your post. Thank you, Just Me. Appreciate it. Yeah. I like her and I like Vince. Those are my two. Obviously, Larry Brooks. What are you going to do? Ha. Yeah, Molly Walker's pretty cool. I like her. I like her a lot. Um, Her and Vince are my go-tos. Um, yeah, those are usually my go-tos. What up, baby? Kraft's all playing well. Quinn should have played him in the overtime. I think he should have started the overtime. He definitely should have been the first guy out there. I thought he was the best. He was the most noticeable Ranger. I wouldn't say the best. Um, just because I thought all the, kid, all the kids had, like, great games. Um, but he was definitely the most noticeable guy out there. Larry Brooks is a bitch. Yeah, we don't need to talk about him. Molly is great at comms, but not interviews. She has stupid questions. Um, I don't know. I don't really listen to their interviews. I like their interviews, but I don't know. It's all It's all just to write articles and, like, get clicks. That's all it is. The players don't want to be there. The coaches don't want to be there. Except for David Quinn, who always seems to love the post games. Um, but yeah, it's just all. I want to see what I want to see, like the inside scoop. I practice, you know. Got to do what you got to do. I like those. I like those a lot. Hall's wearing seventy one. Well, he can't wear four. <laughs> Patrick, what's going on? Games like last night get me so hyped for the future. I love that game. Weird choice. Um, yeah, I don't think he's ever worn 71. I don't think he's worn 71. Yeah, because he was 4 in Edmonton, and then he went to Jersey and wore 91 or 9. I think so. Hearing Anaheim asking for a first. Oh, okay, that just went way too quickly. 
I think it was a first and a prospect for Raquel. Prospect as a first. Oh, whoa. A name I'm hearing more and more in the last 24 hours is Ryan Getzlaff. I thought Ryan Getzlaff had the potential to go to the New York Islanders, but like I said before, I think they're good. I think they're fine. They got Zayjet, they got Paul Mary, they got Colburn. I think they're good. Um, but I would have loved to have seen Ryan Getzlaff as a New York Islander. I wouldn't have been surprised if he was a New York Islander. Uh, three out of four points in the Islanders building. I'd sign up for that all day. You know what? The Rangers played two really good games. They played really two two really good games. They played two really good games against a team who was contending for a Stanley Cup this year. The New York Islanders will be contending for a Stanley Cup. The Jeff Carter trade may make Pittsburgh lead in the playoffs. I think it's going to help them, Dominic. I said it before. It might hurt because you have him this year and next year. But with the way the guy plays, he's won two cups before. He's won gold medals with Sid and Latang. I think he's a great fit. If Malkin isn't 100% in the playoffs, Jeff Carter could easily slide in to center number two. If not, he's a great depth piece. He's a great depth piece. No, the Rangers are not going to make a move for a winger to play right now. Like an established winger like Raquel Nisa, they're not going to get. They have so many wingers. They desperately need centers and growth. They need more time to grow the players, and they need an established number two center. Plain and simple. The Rangers will make a deal like Pittsburgh made for Carter when the Rangers are on the cusp and trying to win a cup. Um, but as of right now, I know it's going to be a quiet day for the Rangers in terms of trying to go out and get someone proven and established to go on a run. They're not going to do that. If the Rangers don't make it, I'm going for Isles. I, listen, I, I'm not going to root against the Islanders. Sure, I might root against them when the game is actually being played. Um... But I, I don't I don't have a problem with that at all. You know, I if if they want to they have a great team. Like I call it how it is. They have a great team. I think they can potentially win the Stanley Cup. But I mean, you can't sleep on Toronto, Tampa Bay, who's won a cup. You can't sleep on Colorado, who's that deep. I, there are a lot of cup possibilities this year just because we haven't seen them play each other either. You think Ryan Strom is fine at second line center? What's your contract you give him after this year? After next year? I think he's good, too. I think he's good, too. But you need a second-line potential center just for depth. Keep Strom, sure. But you need another center. If Filipino hasn't isn't growing in the center role, you need a guy who can strictly win face-offs. Their face-off percentage is terrible. They won 40% of the draws the other night against the Islanders, which <laughs> quietly is good for the Rangers. Oh, wow. I missed, like, 75 messages. What the heck? Uh, do I see Strom getting moved? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, there's nothing you could do about the expansion draft, but not for the trade deadline. I'm intrigued to see what moves uh, the Rangers will make today, if they do any, but I'm afraid. Uh, who will we give up? I think, I mean, they could potentially give up Goche, like NYR said. Um, Ranger Danger, what's going on? Christian, I don't know about the Yankees tonight. We're going to do trade deadline, then we'll see what we're feeling tonight. Um, yeah, they'll be fine. Uh, they're not going to trade those kinds of guys for nothing. They're going to make hockey deals. John Gibson getting moved now. I think Anaheim's going to hold on to him. They can afford Eichel, and I'm betting the Rangers get him this summer. They better not get him. You already know my opinion on the Eichel saga. Um, not worth it. Way too much you're going to have to pay for. You're not You're not in a position to trade your young prospects who are going to be your core just for one guy at a $10 million cap hit. You're not going to be able to keep Zibanejad, Strom, and uh, Eichel. You're not, and Panarin. Come on. I mean, look at the, the last thing the Rangers want to do is become the Edmonton Oilers, where they have all these sick players and they're all getting paid so much money you can't surround death pieces around them. It's just not gonna happen. Bernard, I think Kreider will be a Ranger forever. I think they would have moved him last year. They knew that he could do this. They knew he do he does go on these streaks. And I mean, it is what it is. It really is what it is. If they trade Goche, but Howden is still range at the deadline, you're going to lose it. I wish they could just get rid of Howden. I mean, I don't, he's not a good player. He's not a good player. He's just not a good player. I don't understand why he continues to play. Him being a good penalty killer isn't enough for me, especially on this team. Eichel is young, too. He, he becomes Girocorp. That's true. It's true. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with that. He's not a great player and could potentially become a superstar. 
with another team, but I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it. I just don't think it's worth it at all. Um, Bruins and Flyers trending down. Let's go Rangers. <laughs> yeah, let's go Rangers. Flyers. Ooh, Flyers and Scott Lawton's camp engage in contract talks. Flyers also taking teams from call, uh, taking calls from teams on him. Could go to the wire. Imagine Scott Lawton gets moved. Is that like Philadelphia kind of selling? I feel like Scott Lawton's a core piece for the Philadelphia Flyers. Great depth guy. Brings you that grit. Uh, man. They're going to either want to get a deal done today before the deadline or Scott Lawton might get moved. Jaden, you're going to get another winger? How many wingers are the Rangers going to get? They're fine on wingers. They need centers. I heard the rumors the Rangers are signing a Valorant player. It's up to a four-year, $300 million contract. Thoughts? Yeah, I didn't hear that, though. <laughs> what year do you think the cap goes up? New TV deal? Yeah, new TV deal next year is going to help for all franchises. Um... I don't know, man. I, I've never been in this situation. I've never really, I don't really understand the cap and how it would fluctuate, but we will see. Hopefully, it gets moved up sooner than sooner rather than later. That's my opinion. <laughs> Do you see them training Blackwell? You never know. You never know. You might sell high on him right now. My theory: the only play Howden slash Hayek, so they don't look like fools for the McDonough trade. They lost that trade. That, that's not a winning trade. They lost it once they made it. I had no faith in that trade once they made it. Nemesnikov was trash. Ryan McDonough was Ryan McDonough. He was your captain. He's an elite defenseman. JT Miller, a young center. Why would you trade those two guys away for... They I knew... There's a reaction video who's got, that's got over, I think, 10,000 views now on the channel of me reacting to that trade on deadline day back in 18. And I knew we lost that trade the second they made it. Sam Bennett, relax, Al. Rangers can make moves, uh, but not buying or selling. Can they protect him for Seattle with Lawton and Philadelphia? Yeah, I think so. Do you have to be on contract? Well, yeah, no, you'd still be on contract till July first. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, they'd they'd. I don't know. Well, they probably wouldn't protect him if they're gonna trade him. They might trade him. Oh well, no, is it a UFA or an RFA? Hold on. Philadelphia Flyers. Scott Lawn is UFA, so uh, probably can't trade him. Maybe have him trade? It's possible. Is Felino worth the first maybe five years ago? Listen, they had to pay the price that they wanted to pay. Yarmo Kekalina did a good job on to get that first for for Felino. Um, how do I feel about the Pens getting caught? I said this before. I really like it for Pittsburgh. I think it provides them a lot of good center depth. I think it helps them, you know. Carter's won a gold medal with Sid, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, when Lafreniere was taking face those last night, he looked really good. Maybe they move him to center. Um, they're definitely going to try him at center, especially within the first three years of his entry-level deal. Um, it's just such a harder transition to go from junior wing to NHL center and from NHL wing to NHL center, you know what I mean? It's definitely going to need some development if he wants to play center. If they trade Blackwell, you have to get your dad's reaction. He'll be so upset. He'll be devastated. 100% rush out for sure, Charles. Um, you talking about the, yeah, the Mac Miller trade? Absolutely, man. Yeah, Chris, Roland Patrick's definitely, his name has been absolutely swirling around uh, over the last week. So, we'll see what happens with Nolan Patrick. We needed one of Sorelli, Sergeant, Point. Imagine we got Point in that deal. Woo! Devils only get a fourth for Kulikov. Hate it. Great ad for the Oilers. I think it's a good ad as well. We're stuck with sports and coverage until three are we? We are. We are. I like sports then, but they're very. Oh, no. Until two. And then two to seven NHL trade deadline for NHL. Well, I mean, I watch. Yeah, man. You're talking about NHL Network, right? Yeah. So two, until two o'clock. It's actually not bad. It's actually not bad at all. It's actually pretty solid. I'd like to see Kreider be tried at center. He's never played center. I don't know. He's better at face than Madden than Madden. We'll see. CB4-3 ends. I'll CB4-3. Kravtsov's improvement in a week has been insane to watch. I love it, Kopo. He looks so good. He was the most noticeable Ranger last night. It's a free fourth. That's true. That's true. It is a free fourth for Kulikov. That's true. 
Wonder if that gets left to Vegas deal also happens. He'd also consider waiving his no trade calls. Yeah, he's going to waive it uh, to a serious contender too. The fact that we didn't get Braden Point in that trade for Mack and Miller is atrocious. That was a bad trade. Listen, that first round pick might end up becoming one of the greatest defensemen the Rangers have coming up. And I, I, I must have greatest defensive of all time. I meant like Nils Lundqvist was in that deal, but he was the draft pick. That might be amazing. But overall, that trade wasn't worth it. Heedle with that horrible turnover in L LT. Yeah, that's a, that's a kid mistake right there. Trying to do too much with it. The actual deadline is always boring. Everything happens in two days before. I know. I would have signed Kulikov. Devils are uh, going to have a whole team of 20-somethings. I don't like that. Oh, well, welcome to New York Rangers land, Ricky. Can I get you a water bottle or a juice box? Because no one's 21. <laughs> Uh, hey, Zach, what's going on? What are you having for lunch? I'm hungry. I'm starving, actually. I'm starving. Definitely like it. Seem like Lou Rob jersey because, yeah, Joseph Greer going to be something anyway. Yeah, no shot. Listen, that was... Oh, can I fix my hair, please? Thank you. Um, Yeah, Matt, I was mentioning before how I think the Islanders are good to go. I think they're good to go. I don't think they need to make any more moves. I would have liked to have seen Getzlaff go. If you didn't get Zajac, that could have been a possibility. Um, I think he would have felt so, uh, fit so well in the honor system, gets left the way he plays. Um, but, I mean, yeah, they already, they already traded him, so. Oh, my mouse is dying. That's unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't die. I need Captain Cali on the Rangers pregame again. True. PB&J, the classic. Solid, Zach. That's solid. Trade Strom, he's a bum. Lallies, whoa. Whoa. All right, I'm going to take a quick two-minute break, use the bathroom, get a new water bottle, and, uh, Try to find the wire to charge my mouse. And we'll be right back. Um, let's play. Yeah, you guys want to hear Versace. I know you want to hear Versace. You'll play Versace. We're good. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari, but you can't for my outfit Gosh. All right. I'm sorry. I'm back. All right. All right, Liddy. After the Hall trade, I was pretty happy with the Palms return. It's a good trade. My hair is so... I'm leaving my hood off. Strom and Blackwell. Strom? What do you know? I don't... Really? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. Where'd you see it? Oh, Freddie Cleason, Rangers legend, the Tampa Bay for prospect Magnus Corn Crona, a goalie. Well, I don't see it. Where, Ryan? I don't see it.
think you're lying. I think you're lying. You're lying, Ryan. I don't see it. I, if I don't see it, there's no way you see it. Are you lying? I, I really, nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm on Twitter. So I think this is. I, I think you're lying. Nah, you're lying. Oh, no, nah, you're lying. Lying. You got you. You actually made my heart drop a little bit. You made my heart drop a little bit. <laughs> That's messed up, guys. That's messed up, all right? That's messed up. I'm not gonna lie. It's a little messed up. Messed up. Messed up. Okay. Okay. I'm not. I'm. From now on, I'm not leaving this chat. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> not funny, Matt. I blame you for that happening. That's it. <laughs> um, that's messed up, guys. <laughs> I wanted to read Ricky. Yeah, Lou should have given him before for Kulikov. I'd rather have Colburn than Kulikov, in my opinion. I think they made the right move there. Yeah, it's funny, guys. Funny. Mad funny. Mad funny. Really funny. Really funny. <laughs> yeah, so Rangers legend Freddie Cleason to Tampa Bay... Uh, defensive depth. I didn't even know he was in San Jose. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with you. I just haven't watched the Out West games this year. They all. It's never. Like, I can't watch. Man, my hair is. I have to put a hat on. I think. Eh, you know what? I'm gonna let it rock. Who cares? You think Colburn's worse than Kulikov? All right, all right, all right. Uh, hit or miss, guys. If you're enjoying the deadline coverage, I appreciate if you leave it a like. If you give it a like, if you leave a like. Thank you for watching, as always. Kulagan has been a great shutdown demon all year. That's all. <laughs> What's up, Jenna? Um, I don't know. I feel I feel like Colburn definitely has the experience to go and win a cup. I mean, he didn't play that much for Tampa in that year, but definitely a good defenseman. Definitely a good defenseman. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say Kulikov's not been good, but I want to call him great. Kulikov's been good. We'll call him great. You think Colburn's washed? He's definitely old. Yeah, I'm not going to deny that. He's definitely old. He's definitely up there. Ugh. Definitely up there. Seriously, does anyone else feel like the Sabres have become the NHL's cheaper mid-2010 Knicks? They've been like this since 2010, so no, nah, it's been a while for Buffalo. It's been a while for Buffalo. I'm not going to lie with you. It's been a very long time that the Buffalo Sabres have been an actually good team. Um, 10 game winning streak and then a 10 game losing streak. Kulikov, Adam Larson, Pear, and Edmonton will be solid. <laughs> hey, Lucas, what's going on? How you doing? Luca, what's going on? How you guys doing today? Oh, man, this is an exciting trade deadline day. Nothing, has, nothing big has broke except for Cleese in the Tampa. Uh, we saw the Coburn trade. We saw Gordette and Highmore. That's about it. Ah, oh, thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. <laughs> I would call the Sabres and Cleveland Browns the NH of the NHL. I don't know too much about football, but I can see that. Will Booch get traded? Jake, you never know. Uh, I think they're going to think expansion today. I think they got to see who they would potentially wouldn't mind losing, giving up. Um, and if they have a trade in place for one of those guys, they're going to make the trade. Vatnin, yeah, this is like the third deadline in a row that Vatnin's gotten moved, and today he was wavered. You know, it's funny, too. We're not going to see a Wayne Simmons deadline deal. Imagine that. He's definitely going to stay in Toronto. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's the first, I think the first time since I've been covering the deadline, he's not, he's not, he hasn't gotten moved. He's not going to get moved. Honestly, with the breakout in Vancouver, I'm not sure if I would be trading for them. I mean, they'll be fine by the time they they leave their uh, – they, they arrive in their new destination.
Listen, I think Kulikov to Edmonton is a good move then. It's a good move for them. They need that kind of a defenseman, a shutdown guy who can play really good defensively. I think he'll accompany that defensive depth very well. So many commercials, man. Jeez. So the Kulikov to Edmonton deal is done. New Jersey gets a conditional fourth round pick. And becomes a third if Edmonton wins a playoff round. So, Ricky, you might get a third. You'll probably get a third. You'll, eh, I wouldn't say probably. You might get a third. <laughs> you might get a third. Um, so, I mean, I think you take that if you're, if you're the Devils. If you're the Devils side, absolutely you take that. You take that all year. If I can make three Rangers completely untouchable, who would they be? For the deadline or, like, expansion? Because expansion, you could do that. Um, I think I would go with Kako, Lafreniere, and Panarin. Those are my three untouchables. If you were to ask me this last year, Zabanish, I would be in that. Oh, maybe Fox, too, obviously. Yeah, no, I think I'd take, I'd take out Panarin. Oh, oh, man, that's hard. That's why the expansion draft isn't three, it's eight. <laughs> Black Thunder, the Rangers only make a trade if it's a hockey deal that benefits them in the long run. They're not looking to buy, they're not looking to sell. Let's go Oilers. That makes it a little better. Yeah, I mean, they could win around. Absolutely, they have the potential to win around, and if that becomes a third-round pick, that's a very good trade, man. We've seen a lot of these drafts over the years and how deep they could be. The bright spots in the late rounds, you never know. Henrik Lundqvist, seven-rounder. Braden Point, late-rounder. Kucherov, you know, it's it's definitely uh, definitely worth taking that risk. I would just like to see more effort in the third period, especially when they were down late. I feel like Queen gives up and puts Howden on line. I'm late. I mean, he's rolling all lines, but yeah, it is what it is. I missed. I think Kako, Laffy, and Miller are automatically untouchable. Now, you got to put Fox in that. I mean, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to trade him, but, like, Fox, Panarin is 100% untouchable. Everyone else, fair game for Eichel. Nah, I'm not doing it. Not doing it. Rangers legend Freddie Cleese in the Tampa Bay. Chris, I know. I know. Love it. Is today the day for D'Angelo news? I hope. I would love to see him getting moved today. Um... It's not like it's definitely the Rangers on the top of the Rangers list, but it might not happen. My eight for expansion would be Crab, Laugh, Kako, Panarin, Fox, Chessy, Zabanjad, Miller, and then goalies. Igor. Well, no, is Igor. No, I think you. What is the? Hold on. Tools. Players. Yeah, no, you can't. You don't have to protect um, the guys who are on the ELCs. So you won't have to. You can't, all right, so you're protecting guys who have no moves. Are Panarin, Kreider, Zabanajad. You have to protect. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, so the guys who you already, you have to protect. You have to protect Kako. You have to protect Lafreniere, Fox. And I think that's it for the guys who are on their ELCs in a couple, like the first couple years of the ELC. Um, and Shesterkin. So you then you have to do your no move clause, which is a Banerjee cry to Panarin, Banerjee cry to Panarin, Banerjee cry to Panarin, Truba. Then you only you only have like three or four, three. You only have three, and then a goal, and then a goalie. Lingren, Hayek. This has Lingren, Hayek, and Heedle protected. So you would potentially lose Strom, Booch, Howden, Gauthier. What a shame, Tyroning, eh? Guy turned out to be nothing. Uh, if the Rangers were to move D'Angelo. Oh, and Keandre Miller, yes. Yeah, so yeah, the guys on the early ELCs, you can't. They're already protected. Uh, they won't be picked up. If the Rangers were to move D'Angelo today, what do you think it'll be? I think the Rangers might have to give up something as a sweetener just, just to get rid of the contract. Um, I don't know what they can get in return. Nothing valuable. Maybe draft picks. 
Yeah, no, that's that's what um yeah, we just yeah. I think Keandre Miller has been the best ranger these past few games. He looks good. He looks good. Do you think Georgie could uh, go to Seattle potentially? Potentially, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, oh, I'm out of focus. That's good. There we go. Yeah, um, potentially. Seeing a dollar replaces Kulikov. No, Tyroning just isn't what they thought he would be at all. He just hasn't taken that next step to be an NHL player. Mike Hoffman getting traded out of St. Louis? I think so. I think so. The one year deal what didn't work not did not work out for St. Louis. I don't even think St. Louis can make the playoffs this year in my humble opinion. I don't think they're good enough. <laughs> I just don't think they're good enough. Um, which is crazy because on paper they're not bad. On paper they're not bad. Um Yeah, what is it what was his contract? One year four million. He gets moved. He gets moved. I think he definitely gets moved. I think Broussard gets moved out of Arizona as well. Yeah, uh, the Lundquist news really hurts. It hurts a lot of people. It's unfortunate, but, you know, his health is a priority. Do you think the Sabres getting robbed in the whole Lazar-Bjork deal? Yeah, they, I mean, they definitely didn't get what they should have gotten, in my opinion. I think they could have easily gotten first rounder for Hall. But he just wasn't doing as good as he, his value just wasn't there this year. Do I think McDavid will go down a better player as Crosby? Um, uh, I don't know, man. Sid, just the way he even transitioned from how the game changed from when he first came into the league, from how it is now, the game's changed so much. It's really a McDavid kind of league, and the way that Crosby was able to adjust and be kind of like kind of that player, it's it's impressive. I said, as much as I love Blackwell, it might be smart to move him. Uh, he's been probably been playing the best hockey he'll ever play, so stock is at a high. That's true, but I think other teams do know that as well. That other teams know that this is probably he's peaking right now. This is probably the best he'll ever be. So I don't know if they're gonna take a chance on him. I don't think we will do anything, but I'm fine with that. And we'll see. Thoughts on resigning Mika? I like it. Winnipeg didn't put him in the position to succeed. You're talking about uh, uh da, 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 da. Kulikov. It's been quiet. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. All signs point to Matias Janmark ending up in Vegas. Hearing the Blackhawks and Golden Knights still working on the details, not done, but headed that way. Both teams can finalize it from Pierre Lebrun. Roddy's not great, but he's still young, 23 years old. Could have time to improve. Yeah, but if he's not, if he's 23, and you think about it, how Kako and Lafreniere will look when they're 23, then I don't see La. I don't see at 26 years old Tyron becoming the player. I don't know. I don't. Know. I just don't see it. I think he'll be a career ECHL, AHL guy. He's just not there for me. I don't know. What are his stats this year? Yeah, he's got eight goals and five assists. And he's got 13 points in nine games for the Wolfpack. He's only played nine games. But previously, he barely touched 20 points. You know? He is having a good year. I'm not going to lie. ECHL. Oh, no, that was last year. 24 and 28. And then the AHL. He got 13 and 9. We'll see. I don't know. I don't really like him, though. I don't like the way he plays. Uh, that's my opinion. It's a shame. Yeah, yeah, Mark's going to go to Vegas. Do you think Philip Forsberg will land somewhere else? If so, where? He goes back to the Washington Capitals. Imagine. No, I don't know. I don't know. Because Nashville's kind of heating up. They might not just, they might try to buy. I mean, you never know. 
Uh, I don't think they're gonna end up end up uh, trading as many guys as you think. I think they're gonna keep on a Matias Ekholm, who was rumored to go to Philadelphia for like weeks. Sean Day <laughs> went from the biggest head to player to the biggest boss. <laughs> Allen loved Sean Day. Yeah, uh, Charles. Yeah, that was what a moronic draft pick that was. You want to talk about like a miss by a general manager? Sean Day. I would take the McElrath over that every day. Every day I would take that. <laughs> How far into the deal does ESPN put NHL completely on ESPN Plus and barely mentions the sport? Oof. I mean, I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that was negotiated. Nationals in it. Ain't trading Echo and Forsberg. Yeah, I don't think they're going to move. I think they're winning games now, so they're fine. Uh, they might try to pick up even like another goalie. I think they could do that. I think they could definitely try to pick up a goalie. Totally forgot about Sean Day. Yeah, he was terrible. <laughs> what, what a shame. Would I give up a first for Ricard Raquel? No. Where is he going to play? Where is he going to play? 27 years old at $3.8 million. You have Lafreniere, Kreider, uh, Panarin on the left wing. You have Kako, Buchnevich, uh Well, I mean, I guess he can play on the right wing, but... What about Gauthier? What about... Uh, you have Phil Giuseppe. I don't know if you're not going to keep him. or And Blackwell, too. You know what I mean? Like, that's why I didn't even put him in the top top six. Like, you're not going to keep Blackwell. You have two years left. 3.8. Is he worth it? Is he worth it? Is getting Rick Ricard Raquel to play on the right wing. He'd have to be a right winger. He can't play on the left. To play on the right wing, is he worth it? But if you're Rangers fans, you also got to consider that you still have in the system, Justin Richards on right wing. You have uh, Austin Rushoff on right wing. Jacob Elmer, who I think is going to be sick. Hopefully. He's 23. He might play. You don't know. You don't know. I, you, go, you only get Raquel because of how young your lineup is. And you do need some experience. Um, but we'll see. I love... Oh, Kravtsov too. Exactly. Kravtsov on the right wing. <clears throat> Bearing, he'll make the team next year. That's why... Will he make the team next year? He will. Um... <clears throat> yeah, he makes a team next year, no doubt. Ricard would have to be a four or five winger. Is he a four or five player? Who comes up and who is it, Ben? No clue. After exp uh, the drop, rosters expand. Um, maybe Rykoff, but I mean, he's still out in the check, even. Yeah, Robertson, Tarmo. I think they like Tarmo. I think they like him. They're just going to give him a little more time. 23 years old. We'll see. Do Zach Jones and Morgan Barron make the team next season? I like Zach Jones. Uh, they have to sign Zach Jones. Um, I do like Zach Jones. Lies is a great skating defenseman. Very similar to Miller. Same size, too, I believe. Um, I would love to see Morgan Barron make this team. I really would. I really want to see him this year. Um, but, I mean, that really... The last thing they want to do is rush these kids, but... Yeah. Uh, 15 points in 15 games for Morgan Marin. I like him. I really do like Morgan Marin. Uh, most underrated Rangers prospect out of right now? That's a good question. That's a good question. Let me get all of them in front of me. <clears throat> I really like Hunter Skinner as a defenseman, by the way, and Braden Schneider too. Braden Schneider, I would go with Braden Schneider. He's 19 years old. He's gonna be a say. He's gonna be very similar to Truba, in my opinion. I think he's the most underrated. Even Barron too. Morgan Barron. Wow. You ever just can't clear your throat? Uh, do you think there's a chance that the Rangers will overtake the Bruins? There's always a chance. Uh, do you think they get too aggressive? They're going to be fine this deadline. Should we trade for Arvidsson? I Listen, they're not going to sell. They're not going to buy. 
They're not going to go out and get a guy like Arvidsson or a guy like Raquel. And plus, Arvidsson's not going anywhere. Yeah, Charles, as of right now, it's a huge mistake. It's an absolute gigantic mistake. Um, but you want to talk about mistakes? The signing of Kevin Shackirk, man. What an idiotic free agent signing <laughs> was Kevin Shackirk. What moronic signing that was. Because, you know what? They signed Shattenkirk when the Rangers' windows was closing. They signed Truba when the Rangers' window was opening. You never know. Uh, Truba's been good this year. You can't tell me Truba hasn't been good this year. I need Truba to be Jacob Truba when this team is supposed to start getting good, which is next year. I need Jacob Truba to be that $8 million defenseman next year. This team, they're young. They're not supposed to be winning right now. It would be a great bonus if they were winning, but I don't need Jacob Truba to play winning hockey right now. You know what I mean? The, the Shankirk signing, that was terrible because he was terrible defenseman and they needed to win, and they didn't. So, yeah. That's my opinion. Oh, my God. My heart just dropped. Oh, my heart just dropped. Oh, my God. They just traded Zach Jones as we were talking about him. <laughs> the New York Rangers do make a trade, trade deadline addition. The Rangers are close to signing third-round pick Zach Jones out of UMass after winning the national title. Jones reports to the Rangers he's burning the first year of his deal, and the New York Rangers expect him to be in the lineup after quarantine. Zach Jones played such a good collegiate year that he will be in the lineup soon. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, Zach Jones. Fonzie. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. That's incredible. Frank Saravelli with the, with the bomb, and he will be in the lineup most likely next week. He's got to go to quarantine. You just won a national championship. Charles, we were just talking about him. We were, you were just talking about him. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Everyone calm down. Everyone calm down. Now, now we're awake. You realize that once the Rangers made a move, now we're awake. Now we're alive. I'm alive. So, all right. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Um, I just want to look at what he did in uh, college this year. Oh, that's high school, Zach. Zach Jones. Um, okay, so we, we already, he's a great skater. I told you, he's very similar to Miller. You'll see that. Um, you'll see that. So he had in collision this year for UMass 24 points in 29 games as a defenseman. What? Um, yeah, he was round three, 68th overall. And it's actually funny because I had a, there was a guy who followed me on Instagram shortly after they drafted him and messaged me that he knew Zach Jones. And um, he's a great skater, he told me. And I've, I've seen that. And I've seen that. Frank Cervelli tweets out that Zach Jones will most likely be in the Rangers lineup next week, which is pretty cool to see. He is 19. Or he just turned 20 in October. He's 20 in October. Um, that's awesome, man. That's really awesome. Let's go. That's actually big for the Rangers. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, we were just talking about Tarmo at 23 years old. That maybe he's in the lineup next week. However, let's take Zach Jones. That means that must mean that Smitty is gone. Not necessarily. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily. Not like a guarantee. It's possible, but it's not a guarantee. Uh, yeah, the wild monkey. Let's go. Who said that? Ben said that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. This team must. Need, this team needs size desperately. Don't stand a chance against bigger, tougher teams like Washington, Boston, Fish Sticks. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Zach Jones is uh. Zach Jones is 5'10". I thought he was bigger. Really? How, how tall is Keandre Miller? I feel like that's wrong. 6'5". Wait, Zach Jones is 5'10"? That can't be right. No shot that he's 5'10". He's 5'11". I thought he was much taller. That's weird. I thought he was much taller. Yeah, the youth movement is here. <clears throat> My gosh. 
Five ten and skates at all this time. Yeah, I thought he was much bigger. Well, I mean, they got Brayden Schneider in the system too, who's in, insane. So <laughs> he's a great defenseman. He's gonna be huge. Um, Blackwell's very short, Lexi. Yeah, that's all. Nice is in class right now. She's buzzing. I'm starving. That's the thing right now. I'm hungry. It's Zach Jones season, ladies and gentlemen. I'm excited. Um. Yeah, but it's not. It's not necessary that. The Rangers move a defenseman from their roster. I know that's what you guys are probably thinking. Taxi squad is there, so. Yeah, Volt, but we've seen a lot of NCAA players coming off of those national championship games, coming to the NHL. Kreider did that. We saw Cam McCarr do that. Um, Zach Jones is a good defenseman. He's 20 years old. He's not a kid. He's a kid, but he's not, like, 18. So, we'll see. Taking a stats test right now is tough. Did I, uh, I did not do a reaction video last night. I went out last night to a uh, winery, actually. I was buzzing off a winery <laughs> uh, yesterday. Eating some hash browns while watching the trade deadline, friends. You got to love it. Must be nice. Must be nice. We have under two hours from the trade deadline. And then after 3 p.m. deals are always crazy. Uh, is Rykov ever coming? I hope. He's still, in, he's still on loan. So not this year, I don't think. Rushoff is 6'7". Rushoff is a big dude. Rushoff's a big dude. Um, Keandre, obviously, 6'5". Uh, uh, Schneider is 6'2", but he plays so much bigger. Hunter Skinner is 6'2". Tarmo small. Tarmo 6. I can't believe Zach Jones is shorter than Tarmo. We're rooting him. Rooting him. Rooting him. <coughs> Order Chick-fil-A. I can't even have Chick-fil-A. They cook everything in peanut oil. I can't even eat. I don't think I can, anyway. Lundqvist is small, but he's going to be sick. You already know what Lundqvist can bring. Uh, Lundqvist, Schneider, Jones, Tarmo, who gets the last D spot. I mean, you're forgetting about Adam Fox, Keandre Miller. Come on. How do you feel about DQ not playing Laugh or Crafts out there in the OT? I thought they were our two best skaters last night. Yeah, I mean, I think he definitely should have started off with them just because they did play great. Um, it is what it is, though. Every five minutes you hear him starve and order lunch. <laughs> Charles is pissed. Sorry, Charles. Um, who do you think Zach Jones' D partner? I want to see him with a right-handed player because he's a lefty. And I want to see him on his right side, on his left, on the left side, with a right-handed on his right side. You know, I want to see that. Nathan Zook, he's in Minnesota, man, but he's right here with us every stream, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, I just knocked him over. I'm sorry, Zooks. How many times did Sam Rosen call Lundqvist Henrik? Oof. He's done a really good job with not calling Shesterk and Lundqvist. <laughs> I feel like I would have trouble doing that. Crafts all looked good to me so far. Kevin Adams better get him in the Big Eichel trade. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. All right, so it's Yanmark. All right, so <clears throat> Matias Yanmark to the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, Vegas second round pick to Chicago. Flip Vegas Golden Knights third for Hawks fifth next year. Is that the same trade or is that a different trade? I'll wait until that's confirmed. But Matias Hadmark is in Vegas. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, Sam needs to go. <laughs> I love the guy to death, but he's done. So much youth coming, it's crazy, Bernard. It's crazy. I agree with Charles, man. I'm sorry. Who would replace him? They could get someone. Sabres GM Kevin Adams traded Eric Stoll, Taylor Hall. Yeah, I read that before. Terrible, D-Rock. Terrible. Terrible. What a shame. Yeah, he does that a lot, Maniac. He does that a lot. Surprisingly. <laughs> oh, man. Surprisingly, he definitely mixes up pl similar players' names too much. In my opinion, Kratzel will be the best out of the whole bunch of kids. I don't know. I think you're underestimating Lafreniere a little bit. I don't think you guys understand how good Lafreniere is going to be. Uh, the simple, smart play he makes. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> he's also older, played in Russia, professional league. He's got that on top of all the prospects right now, so 
when Sam, Sam Rosen retires, I pray to God they don't replace him with Joe or John Giannone. How dare you talk slander about my boy John Giannone? That's it. Streams canceled. Crab also has been playing pro hockey. Yeah, exactly. In the second best league in the world, so as he should be better now. Exactly. Yeah, and like I said, Lafreniere is going to be insane. Trust me. I think Lafreniere is going to be better than Kako by like a lot, too. Watch. Hello, young sir. What do you think is uh, the thought behind Vontman to the stars? Are they looking to continue with him or next season, in your opinion? Um, I think he's a good pickup for Dallas, especially. Dallas is struggling since the start of the season. You know, they had that COVID pause before the season even started. Um, they went to the Stanley Cup Finals next year. They're looking just for a little depth. I think they're going to hopefully provide that with depth. I agree with Laugh as well, but he just looked very impressive. No, 100% craps off. Yeah, absolutely. Guys was a, like a beast. Game one, he looked even he looked good in game one, and then took off from there. Bring Mac out, Trotwick. <laughs> oh wow, I love C Valley during the intermission report. Those those guys are the best. The intermission reports are amazing. I love Giannone Valley. They're so good. Uh, as an analyst in the studio, but not as a play by play announcer. Back in the day, when Sam wouldn't couldn't do the games, Giannone would do them, and I loved it. So I feel like they always blew out the other team. Yeah, Michael, Rangers decor is looking solid. Looking solid. You got to figure out what you're going to do with Truba, though. Is he going to be that Jacob Truba that, that's worth $8 million? Or is he going to be here one Truba who is not even worth $2 million? Uh, no, the Rangers will not try to make a go. Oh, maybe move Georgiev? Ah, they didn't want to do it last year. I don't think they're going to do it this year either. They should just do it, but I don't think they will. They should, but I don't know. They, they wait a long time to move goalies. <laughs> they don't move goalies. Sounds like the San Jose Sharks is involved in the Anmark to Vegas deal. Guessing it's a three-way for San Jose to retain some salary. That's my opinion. Trooper played a good training games lately. He's had a much better season this year than last year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, playing up to that $8 million contract, probably not yet. We'll see. We'll see. He looked good, though. He definitely looked good this season. Looked much better. And I think Keandre Miller on his left, whew, helping, them, helping him out tremendously. Helping him out tremendously. Trade Rooney. Could be moved. Could be moved. Yes, yeah, Mark to Vegas. I think San Jose took some salary. So, uh, oh, yep. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, Freddie Cleason deal. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, it's goaltender prospect Magnus Chorna from Tampa. I like that deal for Tampa. Ah, oh, for San Jose. I like that deal a lot. I like that deal a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Uh, H. Fitz, Kincaid's and Salad. Yeah, absolutely. What is Blackwell's value? Does it make sense to move him now? It would make sense to only move him now. He needs to be moved now if you are going to move him. Um, his value's not that much. He's not that much. That's what scares me. Rangers going to steal Eichel if they act fast. Hey, yo. Relax. I'd rather keep Rooney over Howden. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. See, <clears throat> guys like Di Giuseppe, Rooney, Howden, those all, all those guys are interchangeable. They can be replaced. It's easy. Blackwell's a solid move, too. Solid, too solid to move. They're not going to keep him, I don't think. Do you really think the Rangers are going to keep Colin Blackwell after this year? I don't know. I don't think they will. Uh, yeah, so Kulikov to Edmonton is official. The Devils will get the Oilers' third round pick in 22. If the Oilers win a playoff round, it will be a, if they don't win a playoff round, it's a fourth rounder. So that's official. All right. Um, uh, training Blackwell to Carolina because they are known. Ooh. That's true. That's very true, Justin. Good point. Good point. I like. I like the way you think. Uh, possible return, fourth round pick, maybe. That's the highest I would go to get him. Maybe third. Maybe third. Conditional third. I wouldn't even go guaranteed third. I'd do conditional third. Jake, any big news? Zach Jones has signed an entry-level deal with the New York Rangers. Is expected to sign 
an entry-level deal with the Rangers and will most likely be in the Rangers lineup next week after quarantine. They did give us a first Roche. <laughs> they did. Oh, man. Yeah, so the... Uh, yeah, all right. I'll go over that Yanmark trade when it's finalized, but it looks like San Jose was the team that retained some salary. <clears throat> Bro, we have Fox for a bag of chips. <laughs> Ah, uh, the Rangers on that. Oh my God, I have to clear my throat. <clears throat> cool, cool. Ah, uh, the Rangers have not made any trades yet. Have not made any trades yet. I think we're gonna take a little break so I can eat. We got tra ah, Tarots. I know what you're doing. I'm gonna take a little break so I can eat. Uh, I'll be back in like 10, 15 minutes, maybe. I uh, appreciate it if you leave a like and stick with me here. All right, all right, all right. I'm starving.
Nowadays, nothing really is ice for everyone in me and nobody's ice for me. Phone ringing and I tell them it's ice. I got Buddy on Britney, she ice. Free, free, photo, photo. Please, please, no photo. Turn on, GP, no, no, no. Please, no photo. Hit the door and the dumb and just Medicine. whole team here, money, so Medicine. still young, but I move like a Veteran. new deal to my lawyer. Though. Send it in. It's it down in my management. Medicine. I'm just warming up a way to lie. Oh, producer saw the numbers one. Settlement. Different colors in my baggy life. Chalk it up. Talk of the time we are talking up. Wanna get you a ring and you tough enough. Wanna get you new things in your pocket though. Run it up. I used to be crying and out of luck. Now I move up and we crumble cuz. The hate and the jealousy. My mama telling me count up your blessings and run it up. Nowadays nothing really is ice for only one of me and nobody likes me. Phone ringing and I tell them it's ice. I got Bucky on Britney. She ice. Free, free. Photo, photo. Please, please. No photo. No, no. G, P. No, no. No. Please. No photo. I keep giving game away. Phone ringing.
I'm almost done. <laughs> almost. Give me like another five minutes.
Alright, alright. We're back. Delicious, actually. Okay. So, my jaw hurts from that rice. Uh, um, alright. Where are we? Let's see. Okay, so the Dimitri Kulikov trade is confirmed. It's Kulikov to Edmonton for a 2022 conditional fourth round pick. The fourth becomes a third if the Oilers win a series, playoff series. Uh, then we also have Magnus Chorna, a goaltender uh, prospect from the Tampa Bay Lightning, getting moved to San Jose in exchange for New York Rangers legend Freddie Cleason. Uh, we have one hour, 22 minutes left in this trade deadline. Um, I think I picked a good time to start streaming. I think that was a smart move by me. I was going to do it at 9 a.m., but I was like, you know what? Nah. I was like, we're going to be sitting here for six hours probably talking about nothing. Seven hours talking about nothing. So I think I picked a good time to start. You guys all seem really engaged, and it's awesome. I love all of you. You guys are the freaking best. I feel like leftover food is better than freshly made. No way, Justin. <coughs> no. <coughs> Joking. I sound low. All right, I'll put my mic up a little bit. What's up, Dustin? How are you? What do I think the Rangers... What do you think about the Rangers' chances to make a playoff or playoff run? Uh, I think it happen. Kratzov did look really good yesterday, Andrew. He looked very good. He looks very good. You want Jeff Skinner gone? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, they had the whole they had a whole other situation in Buffalo that they gotta worry about. Whole other situation. Like I'd prefer pizza the next day than have it the first night. Do you heat up the pizza? Or do you like you eat it cold? People like cold pizza, believe it or not. Like more than more than freshly made. More than freshly made. Big hockey guy? Yeah, Nick, big hockey guy. You like microwaving the pizza? Nah, I can't microwave pizza. I put it in the toaster oven, heat it back up. That's it, simple. Oh, looks like the Rangers' chances of Ayaflalo, whoever wanted Ayaflalo, uh, looks like that's not happening. Uh, Kevin Weeks breaks this. He's been breaking a lot of stuff. Here in the LA Kings are closing in on a four-year extension with Alex Ayaflalo. Ayafla Ay uh. Alex Ayafalo. Um So it looks like the Rangers and Kings will not be making a deal for him. Unless it's a sign and trade. Nah, but I mean, the Rangers would have to sign him. Um, but it is Alex Ayafalo for a four-year extension. How about that? How about that? Cooney, John, what's going on? If the Rangers don't make the playoffs, do you do a lottery video again? Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> Coons, what's going on? Yeah, so I follow four year extension, don't know the AAV. But that was <clears throat> we we're most likely gonna see that with Scott Lawton as well for the Philadelphia Flyers. If he doesn't get signed, he's most likely gonna get moved. Like he wants to sign, but he wants to like if not, then he wants to get moved. That's my opinion. He is a UFA, so he would have to get moved now or sign a big ticket. Come June. Come July, actually. Leftovers are horrible. It's not fresh. It's not for me. I respect that. I respect that. And Enzo made a good point. It does depend on what you're eating. Like, it was rice and chicken. I was able to just throw that in. It was good. It was solid, I would say. Um. Okay. Um, I think that Matias Janmark is finally getting... The Matias Janmark trade is finally getting finalized. Sharks will receive a fifth round pick from Vegas for helping broker the J yeah, the Yanmark deal with Chicago. It's actually Buffalo's fifth round pick in 2022. San Jose also sending a minor league player to Vegas. Okay. Why? Why would San Jose send someone to Vegas? Jack Johnson is hurt, Fitzy. He's hurt. 
Uh, thoughts on Butch and Sharma? They've both been really good this year. I think Sharma has been proving why he's the number two center. And Butch has really exploded as a winger. Those are my thoughts. I like Butch. I like the way he plays. Frustrated, though. He gets frustrated easily. Which is okay, because he wants to score. and wants to win. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> Nick Pods? I remember that, Nick. <laughs> Maybe you can have some turkey sandwiches the day after Thanksgiving, but left the folders aren't for me. All right. They're not for everyone, Ricky. Kind of like being a Devils fan is not for everyone. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> Do the Islanders need it to be active in free agency? They already have a good team. No. Um, no, I think they're sad, Dustin. I think they're good to go. They're good to go. Uh, they made the moves that they wanted to make. They're not They're not moving anything else, in my opinion. <laughs> Dustin liked that one, too. Yeah, very slow deadline. Everything was made over the last couple of days, which kind of sucks. Um, oh, they're talking to Berkey right now in SportsCenter. Yeah, Jeff Carter, I like that deal for uh, Pittsburgh. I saw, I told that I said that before. I like that deal a lot. I think it's smart. Good depth. I like it. I was going. You like that, Dawson? I, I came up with the came up with that one by myself, on the fly too. Imagine. Devils Rangers four set coming up. Devils taking three after the comment you just made. <sighs> No, no, <laughs> the Rangers, these are, I mean, they're four big games for the Rangers, so hopefully they win them. Uh, I'm a Yankees fan, Nick, uh, not too much in the football or basketball. Oh, thank you, Dustin. I should, I should do stand up, right? Wow, well, you set me up for that. It was easy. It was easy. Blame, blame your pal, Ricky, Dustin, all right? Blame your fellow devil fan. Honestly, I think unless is a bottom player, player for picks, we set right now, uh, for your, the Islanders or the Rangers? Honestly, both situations. The Rangers aren't going to... I said this months ago that the Rangers aren't going to buy. They're not going to sell. They're going to make hockey deals just like they did last year. Get rid of a $5 million cap hit in Brady Shea. Get in the first round pick. Swap Keen for Goldshade, which was a great trade. <laughs> right, MSG? Yeah. That's true. That's true. Of course there's Devils fans in here. We love the Devils fans. We love them, unfortunately. I'm not playing. <laughs> no, nah, we love them. Yeah, Hank. Hank. Uh, Hank is gonna take a step back. Thrasher, what's going on? How are you? So it's yeah. I, that's too fast for me to read. Come on. I don't even think it's updated yet. Has it? Nope, has not. It's good. It's good. It's going to be a good four-game series against New Jersey. Rangers battling for a playoff spot. New Jersey is looking to play spoilers. Very true. Very true. Um, the, I mean, if the Devils win all four games, they're tied with the Rangers or two points behind them. Hold on. Let me see. So if the Devils win every single game, the next four games against the Rangers in regulation, they will be two points behind the Rangers. They will be two points behind the Rangers. Rangers only four points out of a playoff spot. I don't think they're going to be able to catch Pittsburgh. They might not even be able to catch Boston, but I'm telling you right now, no one's going to be able to catch Pittsburgh. But like the top three, Caps, Islanders, Penguins. I mean, you can even still throw Boston in there. They have a few games at hand. Um, but, man, man, those top three teams look like they're set. They're set. Yeah, so I follow, did resign. I'm going to wait for the terms. It was four years. I know it's four years. Um. And then, you know, by moving Jeff Carter, you're able to sign now a younger center to your four-year extension. That's basically what that is. I love Brian Burke. Just read his book. So many good stories in there. I had chicken and rice leftovers. Jake. And, uh, Jake. Jake. And, <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Our team is uh, officially in the hands of Nico Hischier and Jack Hughes. Yeah, that's it. Time to turn the tides. Drew, no, I don't play. I don't play Chell now. Love listening to him talk about his meeting with Yakupov. <laughs> I'm very excited for Zach Jones' Bulls. Very excited. Happy he's able to sign. 
Yeah, the Rangers are definitely going to try to make a push for the playoffs. We'll see what happens. Rangers played Boston for the last two games of the season, but after that, Boston will still have two games in hand. Um, Really? They have two games after that? The Islanders and the Capitals. Very true. Four years, four million dollars for Ayafalo. Twenty-seven year old. It'll take him to he's thirty-one years old. Four years, four million dollars. He was getting paid. He was. We said two point eight or something like that. Hey, uh, who, why no reaction video last night? Yeah, we weren't. We weren't here last night. I wasn't here. Uh, who do you see being Jack? Who do you see being Zach Jones? I think he's gonna be a good puck moving defenseman who skates very well. I thought he was bigger, but she's not. But it is what it is. Yeah, Dustin, the playoffs are gonna work differently this year. You're definitely gonna play you're gonna play no, you're gonna play uh so like let's say the Capitals win the division, they're gonna play the fourth team in the other division. It's all gonna come down to uh beating Boston every game we have left with them. If we split, won't make the playoffs gotta take every game for them. Listen, the Rangers gotta worry about their own games other than Boston's games, you know. Cause you can't rely on Boston to lose, but you can definitely make yourself and help the situation better by winning games. Senator Earl, who do you see become, being Zach Jones' defense partner? Uh, you see Smith or Hayek coming out of the lineup or even being moved. They're not going to be moved. They're going to just be thrown on the taxi squad. Um, I, I <clears throat> It's 2 o'clock. I don't think the Rangers are going to make any moves. Um, and as I say that, they're going to fucking trade everybody. Um, I want a right-hander with him. I want a right-hander with him. I would like to see maybe Truba, maybe Fox. Um, I want to see a right-hander with him. Problem is the Bruins just added Hall, and they play Buffalo seven times. Sabres are playing better, though. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you have to rely. You can't rely on Boston to win. Every, like you, Having Boston losing games is good, but you have to win your games. And in order to do that, you got to be Boston. That helps out both situations. Carter to the Penguins is great. I think that might be my favorite move, the, move of the deadline, to be honest. Carter to the Penguins. I love it. I think it makes sense for Pittsburgh to get a guy like him. I think it makes sense for center depth. If Malkin's not ready, we'll see. If Malkin's still hurt, I should say. Uh, Joseph, what's going on? How are you? How's it going? Thoughts on Travis and Kyle going to the Islanders? I like it. I like it. Uh, surprised about Zajac. Uh, I like the Palmieri move. We'll see what Zajac does. I don't know. I feel like Palmieri, definitely great move. But Zajac? We'll see. Thoughts on Coburn? I like him. I like him. Good depth guy for the Islanders. Um, I think... I don't know for a fact, but I think the Islanders were like, I think Matt told me that there were Chicago Columbus scouts at the Islander game the other night. Oh, at the Range Islander game. He gets grief for being behind uh, the times, but Berkey has been right, more right than wrong. Thoughts of David Quinn? He's chilling. I'm fine with him. What do you think comes out of the do, 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 out as the winners at the conclusion of the deadline? Hmm. Hmm. I think Toronto's made some really good moves. I really like the move for Nick Felino. I really like the David Riddich move. I think they're definitely up there. Um, we also got I don't know, like just Pittsburgh's acquisition of Carter. I think is really going to help them. Um, the Islanders got a really good winger. I really, I don't know how I feel about Zajac fitting in that lineup, but I like Palmieri on that wing, and I like, and I like the, the Colburn, but Colburn's not going to play unless he's, he's obviously there for depth, uh, just in case someone gets hurt or someone needs to write off. Uh, but Teddle was hurt, and he just hasn't played since, so I think he's healthy, though. Uh, I don't want Eichel. Not worth it. Too expensive to pay for his contract, and you're going to give up way too many of your future, too much of your future. Hate that Toronto move. Not worth a first and more. Listen, you got to pay to get the player you want. Really. You really do. You really do. 
Yep, 4x4 four four for Ayafalo. That makes sense, right? Because it'll be 31. Yeah. Uh, reasonable return for Eichel. They're going to ask for way too much. Like, Eichel's different than Hall. Eichel's younger. Eichel has proven to play well in Buffalo, so they're going to want more for him. He's the captain. He pay he pay more than Hall. They're going to want a lot more, and it's just not worth it for any team to go after him. He's not worth it. He's not. It's not. You're going to give up Lafreniere, Miller. Who are you going to give up? You're going to give up your whole future while your core struggles to score goals today? Come on. And he's also a center. I'd rather just all for Elias Patterson and all for Sheed than Eichel. No, they're not going to go after to get any other big free agents. All the Rangers need is one more center and time. They need time to develop their players and one more center. Then they then the clock is ticking. Then the clock starts. Then the clock starts. I'm excited for Zach Jones. Well, for sheets never happen anymore. And then they're, I don't. They don't make sense. You you give up way too much for a player, for a player. Remember the remember the Shea Weber offer sheet that was terrible. Cockle and Laffy are both on Eichel, are both no on Eichel. Buffalo already has Gordon and walked away. Yeah, he's not he's not moronic, Jeff Gordon. He's not an idiot. Sure, he'll make a bad trade, but he's not a moron. Which center do you trade for? Who do you want uh, the Rangers to go after? I'll just wait till free agency. Just wait till free agency. See if you can get a third or a fourth line center. Um, I mean, if you want Philip Hedl to play center, then he's going to play third line center. Because right now you do have Zabanaj as strong. Those are your top two. They need to get better on faceoffs. So bring in a guy who can win faceoffs. Plain and simple. And can play a depth piece to your to your lineup. And so, yeah, and so we need to learn how to win faceoffs, exactly. Flyers was the team who did that, right? Yeah, Flyers offered Shea Weber when he was in Nashville. Um, and that's where his contract came from because Flyers offered him that much money. The deadline is at 3 o'clock. We are an hour and six minutes away until the final trades could be made until June, middle of June. <laughs> Raquel would be a great ad in New York, to truly be honest. He would play right wing on either the second or third line, but you have way too many wingers, man. You already got on the right wing, Kravtsov, Kako, uh, Bruchnevich. I mean, what are you going to do? You, the, only, the only way you get Raquel is if you bank on him being better than Bruchnevich in the future because Bruchnevich has a contract up. You're going to take him off KZB and hope Raquel could play maybe second, third line right wing and you throw Kako or Kravtsov up on the first line with KZ. Well, what's going on? Tell Hall to Boston. Eh, I think it's an okay move for the Bruins. I don't know. I don't know. Raquel can play center though. It's listed that he's only on the wings, but I don't I haven't watched the West Coast at all this year, so I don't know. But if he can play center, then yeah, give me him. What's his face off percentage? <laughs> Why, what happened, Nisa? Nashville's Twitter, what happened? Oh, the social media will trade a broken stick for a coffee, light ice, one pump. That's funny. Is that what you're talking about? Does Bruch get dealt? What would you say yes to? Listen, he's exploded this year. He's going to want a lot of money. I don't know what your return could be for him. I don't. I just don't know. Trade Howden and Smith for Sam Bennett? Hmm. Kind of seems like an overpayment for Bennett, but they kind of all have the same value, but I don't know. As a Ducks fan, I would hate to see Raquel go, but we need a huge change. Yeah, I mean, the Ducks are slowly trying to build around guys like Zegris and uh, Jamie Drysdale. I think that's what is going to end up happening. Opinion on Kreider's contract. We knew what Chris Kreider would give you, the inconsistencies, the... Seven goals in two games. That's what he does. Um, I don't. I still. I don't know. I don't mind the contract still. So. 
see Nick Dow's goal? I did not. It's always tough when players are on there last year and they explode like Booch has. Yeah, because you have to hope and guarantee that he could do that next year and in the future. But for Booch, I can definitely see him doing that. If you could go back to last year, would you have traded Kreider instead of signing him? Knowing that I got the first overall pick and he'll, he's a left winger, no, I'm not re-signing him. To be honest with you. To be honest with you. Um, I don't know. I love Kreider, my favorite player, but for business-wise, it probably would have been better to trade him. Devil should have pr traded Palmieri last year once the Rangers signed Kreider. His price definitely went up after the Rangers signed Kreider. Do you think the Jackets will fire Torts after the season? Yeah, probably. Which sucks because, you know, it is what it is there. It really is. But I think he's done. Isles are definitely done, Rick. I, I can't see them adding anything else. I can't see them adding anything else. They got their center. They got their extra winger. They got their extra defenseman. I don't think they're in for a goaltender. They have Sorokin and Verlamov. I think they're fine. Billy, what's going on? My favorite Ranger? Uh, yeah, probably Crides. <laughs> Bring Torts back? Yeah, for these kids? No shot. No shot. Yeah, that's the Felino trade. Torts coaching styles ex extinct. Yeah, you're right. We got an hour left for the trade deadline, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hats on. Seatbelts. Lock them up. I'm excited. Definitely excited. If you are enjoying the stream, please remember to leave a like. I really do appreciate it. I think Line A was a lone player. Jets won that trade with Dubois. We'll see what happens with Dubois. Uh, favorite Ranger defense. I like Keandre. I really do. But I like Ryan Lingren, too. I like Lingren. I'll, I'll, I'll go... I'll go Lingren and Keandre. Close second, Keandre. Uh, least favorite team to play against. Um, Pittsburgh this year. Go Caps, what's going on? Of all time or current, all time player for the Rangers, probably Hank or Zooks that I've watched. All time in general, probably Messier. Torts and Babcock for the New York Rangers, that would be a nightmare. <laughs> Are you a basketball fan? No, I'm not, Max. Uh, who do you think about my Caps, Flyers, or Devils get? Who do you think my Caps, Flyers, or Devils get? Well, the Devils sold. The Flyers haven't made a move. And the Caps traded Siegenthaler for uh, a draft pick just to make more room for something. But they haven't done anything. Um, yeah. We'll see. I mean, this, like I said, there's still an hour left. Anything can happen. We've seen crazier things happen on trade deadline day. But we're excited. Thrasher, we're on the same page. How dare you forget about Foxy? I didn't forget about him. I know how good he is. Is he my favorite? Is he from Long Island? Sure, I could have said him, but I don't know. There's something about Lingren that reminds me of, like, I don't know, like that old school mentality, and I like it. Tim, what's going on? Uh, you got me watching a lot of Ranger games this year. Coming from a Leafs fan in Canada, love your channel, but thank you, Tim. I appreciate that. Happy we can get you back on board. Rehu Rustalainen is my favorite defenseman of all time for the Rangers. Lingering Kearney. Yeah, me too. Leo, I know what you're talking about too. Yeah, Rustalainen and Rustalainen? There are two ends? Yeah, Rustalainen. Good player. Great defenseman. Fox actually, did he break his record? Like, did he pass him for the consecutive games at a point? I know Lee chose a record, but I'm pretty sure he was there. I don't know. Siegenthaler so did win the jersey. Yeah, he did. Uh, what trade do you think so far was the best deal for one team? Jeff Carter to the Pittsburgh Penguins. Very underrated. Um, great move by Pittsburgh. Oh, and Felino. I like Felino. I like the Felino move. I know it might have been an overpayment from Toronto, but I like that Felino is a is a Toronto Maple Leaf. I think he's going to fit well there. Um, and then obviously the other day, like I said, the Palmieri Zajac deal to the Islanders. Don't know how Zajac's going to fit. I've said that before. I like what Palmieri could do for that lineup for the Islanders. Uh, can we get anything for Tony D? I don't know. We had another 59 minutes. Rusalainen had 14. Got you. Rusalainen him. <laughs> yep. I like the Oilers getting cool to cop too. That's a good deal. Mike Riley to Boston is okay. Uh, Hall to Boston along with Lazar. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. What happens with Hayek now that Zach Jones is coming up? Uh, taxi squad. Taxi squad. Taxi squad. And then expanded rosters too. So. Mm. 
Lamorella will speak with the media at 3.30. Uh, yeah, they're done. They are done. I think that's smart. I mean, how many other players are you going to put on that Islanders roster? As long as Batman is commissioned, no team in Canada will win the Cup. Uh, Zach Jones is 20. Turns 21 in October. Trade Hayek and Goche for some bottom six center. Could do that. Could do that. Eh. I got a lot of respect for the Rangers. They're going to be a filthy soon with young players like Adam Fox, Capo Caco, and Lafreniere. They also got their stars. Zabat and Japan and Kreider and more solid players. No, the only thing the Rangers need is time. They need more time. Panarin's going to still be good. Zabat is going to still hopefully be good. Um, yeah, we're chilling. They're chilling. They need time to just develop. Develop and play hard. My lecture just started, so see you in a little bit. I'll see you later. Leo, thanks for coming out, man. Thanks for coming out. Rangers are the second youngest team in the NHL. Are they, the, are they the second or are they the first still? Sabres, what a shame. <laughs> that's all I have to say. I feel bad for Sabres fans. I really do. Uh, that's my opinion on them. It sucks. Not since the Devils traded Palms and Zajac. Oh, the Devils became the youngest? Ooh, I like that. I like that. So the two youngest teams in the NHL are going at it tomorrow. Uh, when is Zach Jones supposed to come up? Uh, he's got to go through a quarantine. He just won a national championship, so he's definitely going to get tested multiple times. Go through a quarantine. Uh, today is Monday. I'm guessing next week. Not this week. I'm guessing next week. Wow, 22 years old? Jesus. Whew. Matias, yeah, Martin Vegas. Yeah, I'm waiting for that whole trade to come get confirmed. It's already been confirmed, but I'm waiting for the details. Um, yes, but he will be on his way to Vegas. Two 30-year-olds and a 35-year-old. Definitely drop their age down. Yeah, right? Whoever's taking classes right now. <laughs> Thoughts on Gusev to Florida? What a shame on Nikita Gusev. Eh? He was so hyped up and like he just really wasn't good at all. Um, we'll see what Florida could do. We'll see what Florida could do with him. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and Mark in a fifth for a second and third. Yeah, there was, but there's a buffer team. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a buffer team to take on some salary. I think it was San Jose. But um, yeah, no, I'll, I'll promise I'll get it. I'll get that whole trade to you. Uh, Zach Jones is gonna probably replace Hayek or Smith. Uh, then they'll just be sent to the taxi squad. Gusev on their power play, but he's slow and soft. Never got the help. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Devils, <clears throat> I wouldn't say it was a bad signing, you know. I think the position they were in and the opportunity that they had to sign him, it was a good move, you know. It just it sucks that it didn't pan out. Can Filipino become a first-line center one day? I think he's definitely got the strength and speed. As time goes on, he'll get stronger and faster. Skill set's definitely there. Uh, you never know. I like him. I would like him as a first-line center. They traded a second for him. What do you mean? Oh, because he was on Vegas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, though. Like, yeah, like, I would have, I would, I would have done that. You know what I mean? I would have done that. I would have absolutely done that. Um, yeah, I can't believe he was in Vegas. Wow, it seems so long ago. That seems so long ago. Where Nikita Gusev was a Vegas Golden Knights roster player. Like what? Uh, <laughs> it's better to try to do something and blow it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not trying to do it at all. Plus, they were trying to convince Taylor Hall to stay this offseason. Yeah, exactly the truth. They were trying to build around him. Sure was trying to save his job. It, it's it's fine. Trust me. I, I know I know why it was made. It was a it was like that and the Subban trade too. Um, you know, you got Jack Hughes. You're excited. It's I understand. 
Who's your favorite player that is not a Ranger? I like Gallagher in Montreal a lot. I love the way that guy plays so much. My dad hates him, obviously, because of the way he plays. But I fell in love with him the, start, the second I started watching him. Um, Danny Briere back in the day. Uh, Hank. He's not a Ranger anymore. Um, yeah. I got to put this up a little bit. I can't hear Uh, he was drafted by Tampa Bay, and they told Gulsev he would never, <coughs> never make it. Should have trusted Tampa Bay. They seem to know what they're doing. He was drafted by Tampa Bay, really? How did he get to Vegas? He was drafted by Tampa, seventh round too. You know what? I'm not gonna bash the Devils for doing that at all. I'm not. I can't. Four and a half million, that's a lot of money. Sure, the contract's big, but yeah, not worth it. Yeah. NHL totals, he only had 49 points in 86 games, and he had a four and a half million dollar contract, which is crazy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, used to play, used to play, used to play. Uh, I'm going to use the bathroom, and then we'll be right back, because I am, they're talking Johnny Goudreau, which would be crazy. I'm going to use the bathroom, we'll be right back. Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Hey, so Scott Lawton signs in Philadelphia. I told you he was going to get a deal done or he was going to get traded. Very similar to the IFALO situation as well as Chris Kreider last year. Uh, they wanted signed. And, uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. And look who's back in Colorado. Colorado trades for Carl Soderberg going the other way to Chicago. It's Josh Dickinson and Ryder Ralston. So, Soderbergh's in depth for Colorado. He goes back to a team that he played really well with. So, good for Colorado. Adding depth as they try to make a playoff run. Um, and also, we also got, what else? Someone else moved. Uh, yeah, so we got. Oh, yeah, no, it was the, uh, it was the Lawton deal. Yeah, Lawton deal. Uh, so, yeah, Chicago. Gets rid of Soderbergh. Chicago's selling. They're having a good deadline selling their pieces. 
Um, they're having a, they're, they're making smart moves to get rid of the guys because they know they're not going to make the playoffs. They know they probably don't want to make the playoffs. They probably want to tank again for another high draft pick, get some assets for the players that you know are able to get traded. Uh, and it could be anybody winning the cup this year. Will really could be. Um. You know, Boston added some pieces. The Islanders are a dangerous team. The Capitals, the Penguins have won multiple times before this group. Um, then you look at the other the other conference. You got uh, you have Vegas, who's been on the cusp of it. Same with Colorado. You never know. I'm sure, you already know this, but I just woke up. Jones is signing with us. Hell yeah, Jason. Hell yeah. We we actually broke it on stream. We love it. We love that. Um, yeah, that's going to be exciting to see Zach Jones. I'm really excited to see him. It's the rights to Ryder Olsen, by the way, and that's Soderberg deal. Soderberg to Colorado for Josh Dickinson and the rights to Ryder Olsen. So he has to get signed. Lawton is staying in Philly. Yes. I made Boston that hole for that little uh, when we're chasing them down. Yeah, we'll see. But with Taylor Hall sinking teams as of recently, we'll see what happens. With the way the NHL is, literally anyone can win. Anyone can win. Anyone. Any team can squeak in and win. Look at Nashville, what they did in 17. They were the 16th team to get into the playoffs. They were the last team. And they made it all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals. Goudreau getting moved is possible. Yeah, uh, his name popped up a couple times over the last few weeks. Uh, and I think Calgary might end up moving him. And if, if they're going to move him, I think today's the day to move him. Uh, Johnny Goudreau, his name has been rumored around to be traded for a while. Uh, he's got two years left at 6.7. He's 27 years old. Turns 28, so he'll be 29 when this contract ends. The Hall curse. Smith going? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Wow, the Penguins have the same amount of wins as the Caps and the Islanders, but... Two points behind because of regulation losses. Goudreau would be really smart to trade today. Yeah, you have to trade him today. Yeah, because you might even you might be able to get a six deal, like a sick price for him too. Ah, uh, me and me and Brian Lone on the same page. We're liking the Jeff Carter deal. I'm telling you, it's a great deal for Pittsburgh. Very good deal for Pittsburgh. Brian Burke, what a move. Great move. Could get a haul plus team training for him. Gets no longer than traditional rental. Exactly. That's why I think Calgary's been wanting to move him for so long. I think you have to eventually move him. And for what Hall just went for, you probably get a little cheaper for Goudreau. I'm not even going to lie with you. Um, but then that's probably the end of maybe the, Cal the Calgary Flames making runs. Who knows? Goudreau being traded would be interested. One thing, uh, only one thing, I don't want him to go into a team that makes the roster stacked unless it's to the bees. Um, uh, who, who would be interested in him, you know? I don't think they would, um, like, if you think about it long term, would you want him for long term? Would you want him to to sign with you after his two years are up? Am I the only one who wants the Rangers to re-sign Brandon Smith? Not too much, though. Uh, he's a really good leader in the locker room for the young guys. Yeah, but there's not there's not there's not a spot for him. There's not a spot for him. There's gonna be a lot of defensemen coming in that need to play, and I don't think there's a spot for him. Hall earned seventy one for the Bruins. He should have he should have done ninety one out of spite to Sagan. Goudreau said he wants to be a Flyer eventually. Yeah, he's from that area. He's from South Jersey. I think he grew up a Flyers fan. So. All right, so, yep, Soderbergh to the Avalanche. That was the last trade. We have 45 minutes left in the deadline. Oh, my God. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm not going to lie with you. I'm nervous. Um, nothing's really broke since. Nothing's broke since hard, except for that Soderbergh deal, except for that Soderbergh deal. Oh, man, I'm nervous. Very excited to see the kid defenseman from Rangers for Sweden. Yes, Lil's uncle should be good. Uh, if we get rid of Hayek and Johnson, we can sign somebody as a 7th G. I've seen a lot of Rangers Twitter wanting that, including uh, Ryan Mead and Hay Shea. Um, well, Johnson, obviously, you're not going to resign him. Uh, Hayek, what are you going to do with Hayek, though? you got to get rid of him, sure. But then you have Zach Jones coming in, Nils Lundqvist coming in. Like I mentioned before, the Rangers, pros like they want to go younger. They don't want to go older. They don't. Brendan Smith is not that important of a piece for you to keep. 
He's not. He's not. I don't see the purpose of him being here. Soon, Yankees highlights. Hopefully, we're doing Yankees soon. Uh, soon. <laughs> Willie Nealander in a second for Goudreau. Nah, they're not going to trade Willie. They can't trade Willie. Lawton is five years, $3 million AAV. <laughs> Interesting. $3 million AAV for five years for Lawton. That's a good contract. It's a good contract for him. It's a very good contract. Scott Lawton. I like that. Good contract for both sides. I want to see uh, Potato. <laughs> Bitsy. Little Bitsy. He got hurt. And then he's just been practicing now. He's not cracking the lineup. <laughs> I'm just wondering how many 3 p.m. deals we're going to see. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so Buffalo plays Boston tomorrow, which should be fun. <laughs> Taylor Hall. The Quinn is coach after next year if Rangers don't make the playoffs. Uh, I think next year Rangers need to be a playoff team. Huh, I don't know. It's way too in the future. What's going on with the Rangers? They're chilling right now. They're chilling. They're not going to do anything big. I think Potato's been really good for us. Why won't DQ let him play? Like I said before, that's what. That's the same reason he won't play. It's the same reason they're not going to sign Brandon Smith. They want the kids to play. Coach Jury 2022. Nah, Jury wants to go front office all day. You could tell. He wants front office. He doesn't want to be behind the bench. He wants to be behind the scenes. <laughs> he wants to be behind the scenes. He wants to be behind the scenes. And I, I I don't I don't I've never seen him as a coach. Callahan I would see as a coach, hundred percent. Um But yeah, Jury likes to be behind the scenes. Yeah, not too many expansion preparation trades today. I'm not gonna lie with that. I'm not gonna lie. What do you think about Zabanja's slow start this year? Uh, it happens. He had COVID. Um, after an absolute monster year, you know, you don't always have to top it, but it is what it is. Maybe they're coming. They could be coming. We have 40 minutes. You never know. You never know. Ryan Callahan for Rangers head coach. The Rangers aren't going to make any moves with the head coach until next season. He'll finish this year out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm not worried about it. I know they're going to make the right choice in the coaching department, especially if they see a coach available that they really like, that J Don Davidson really likes. They're going to get him. Quinn's on contract for two more years after this year, I believe. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. What's up, true Ranger fans? Mike, you are a true Ranger fan. Thank you, Adam. What's going on, Adam? How are you? How you been? Hey, I'm a Devils fan, but I'm a Yankees fan. Please don't be mad. I love your vids. <laughs> the God Man 101. Thank you. Yeah, I mean... Trust me, a lot of people who are Devils fans, or even you know, they had a lot of other sports teams fans. They just love the videos, and I, I really expect, I, really, I appreciate that. I do. Thank you. We love it out here. <laughs> the Rangers doing anything in the next forty minutes? Uh, nothing big. Not used to Rangers not doing anything this day, but understand this year is different. Yeah, nothing big, Bruce. Um, I said it a couple weeks ago. They're not gonna buy. They're not gonna sell. They're gonna make hockey trades, plain and simple. Um, it makes sense. It makes sense. Here, I'm sure your commercial's the best. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan. Appreciate that. <laughs> I like them, too. Haven't uh, haven't seen one in a while, but, yeah, I enjoy them. They're fun. They were fun to uh, participate in and watch. They were pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, so Scott Lawton is confirmed. Three year, uh, Five years for $3 million uh, per year. Um... I just want to look at Philadelphia's roster real quick in their cap situation. So if they just sign. 
a lot into that. They have Konechny. Not Voracek. That's one year after. They'll have Konechny and Hayes and Lawton for the after three years. After the first five years of the deal. After the first four years of the deal. So we'll see what happens. Oh, but God, man. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Uh, the Flyers haven't made a single move except for re-signing Lawton, which is crazy. Um, cause they're supposed to be making moves. Like they're not in a position where the Rangers are, where, yeah, you know, okay. They don't make the playoffs. They don't make the playoffs. That's fine. We got a couple more years to develop. The Rangers situation is fine. Philadelphia Flyers. I mean, come on with this roster, with the skill you have on this team, you should be making the playoffs. And I cannot believe they haven't made a move yet. Right now. I had think I have Philadelphia as losing this deadline by not simply not making any moves. They're a team that wants to make the playoffs. They have to make moves. They have to make these moves. This is crazy that they haven't made anything except for extending Lawton, which doesn't even matter for after the, after this season. It matters. Do you think Ryan Callahan from Marty St. Louis is a good trade? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you look back on it now and yeah. Callahan wanted a lot of money. He wanted a lot of money and the Rangers weren't going to really want to pay him that. My future Rangers coaching staff, Ryan Callahan, was Jacques Martin, Marty St. Louis, and Hank. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a pretty cool. Uh, that'd be a pretty cool tandem there. That'd be a pretty good squad. Um, yeah, yeah. It's all about the system you're playing. Oh, my key just fell off. That's good. The Devils traded Vaden and Kulikov, Zajac and Pomerian. I'm pissed. You know what? Those are good moves, though. You know, the Devils aren't going to make the playoffs. They know they're not going to make the playoffs. Those are really good moves. Uh, those are your that's your core veterans, absolutely. But it is what it is. These GMs had to make five trades last night and wait till the deadline today. This would have been much more fun. I know, I know. It's terrible. The biggest deal today was probably the biggest deal today. I would say is technically the Jeff Carter deal come, did come over after midnight Eastern time. So I guess you could consider that. And then obviously Hall's what did as well. I'd say the biggest one is probably the recent one we just had, Carl Soderberg or Dmitry Kulikov. Those are our biggest trades today, which is crazy. And Mike, it would be cool to watch a Rangers game with an awesome fan like you. Watch your reactions on the YouTube as the game. I'm like, hey, so Rangers cool. Thank you, Adam. <laughs> Devil traded only four guys that aren't going to be here next year anyway. Exactly. Rangers better pick up at least six points against Jersey. Zach, huge series against the Devils. I also like the Felino trade. Again, I like that trade. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. Uh, no more hate. We all know I'll suck. <laughs> nah, Yano's are a good team, man. You gotta call it like it is. You gotta call it like it is. Um... The Yonas will probably win the division. I think they're going to end up scraping a few wins over Washington and Pittsburgh. Am um, I doing reaction videos for the New Jersey New York Rangers series? Yes, there will be a reaction video tomorrow. Um, there will be a reaction video. Oh, what is their schedule? Thursday, Friday? Or Thursday, Saturday? Is it every other day? No, I think it's. I'll try the schedule right now. Um, the Rangers play the Devils tomorrow at 7. I will do that. Oh, no, it is every other day. Yeah, I mean, definitely for. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, I don't know about Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. Uh, no trade involving Booch. I mean, I haven't heard anything. No one has heard anything. We are 20, 34 minutes away from the end of the deadline. Um, well, Zooks, I'm sorry, bud. Yeah, so I don't know, though. I mean, there's still plenty of time for stuff to get moved, but I haven't heard anything. Yeah, Felino had a one good year. I can see you. I can see you thinking that, Zach. Yeah, it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. I predicted the Owls wouldn't win a round, but after those trades, I have to rethink it. I don't. Is it bad? I don't like how Zajac's gonna fit in that lineup, but I love Paul Mary in that lineup. You know, it's weird. I don't know. I feel like Zajac is a good player, great player, Devils legend. Um, I put legend just because he put a thousand games, played a thousand games, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We better hope the Isles don't win around. I want a higher pick than the Isles. <laughs> From the Isles. Eh. 
I just really want the Rangers to trade Brad Howden. Uh, why is he still on the team? Well, they, they, they could just not sign him after the season. You know, getting something for him would be great, sure, but I don't know where he fits in this lineup. If they were to go out and get a center, if they're going to bring in another young kid. Should just play them in Hartford this year, man. He sucks. I can't believe he played like the other night, too. I can't believe it. Uh, Zay Jack on a wing is so stupid. Oh, what's up, Dad? Anything news? Uh, Jeff Carter to the Penguins. Taylor Hall to the Bruins. Really? Yeah. For, uh, along with Curtis Lazar. It wasn't that bad of a price either. The second round pick and a couple prospects. Or like one prospect. Oh no, it wasn't even a prospect. It was Anders Bjork. To Buffalo. And a second round pick. Hell of a hole, huh? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, nothing else really that big. At all. Nothing. No, they're actually, you know the kid Zach Jones who won the national championship? The UMass, a defenseman. They drafted in 19. He won the national championship the other night. They're going to sign him, and he's going to come over next week. So that's really it. Well, he's a, he's a defenseman, yeah. Dad, everyone was like, Blackwell got traded. Blackwell. No way. No way. <laughs> no way, man. That kid plays his heart upset of everybody on that team. He wants to stay, Mike. I mean, I don't know if he's going to stay. He's, he's not going to stay. They can't resign him. How are they going to resign him? He has so many kids. How are you going to play him? Oh, my God. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The mixing of the lines work. Yeah, they right. work. Cryer sucked last night. They don't want to play for this guy. Oh. To me, man. Oh. You're not happy with him behind the back. All right. Well, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I can't force Jeff Gordon's hand. What's he want me to do? <laughs> if Blackwell gets traded in the next half hour, he would actually be devastated. He would actually be devastated. <laughs> I can't give my no. I'll give it. Maybe I'll get my dad a Blackwell name and number T. I could do that. I'm not gonna buy a jersey. He might not even be arranging next year. Steve A. <laughs> yeah, he's buzzing right now. Oh man. Playoff bubble teams remaining quiet. Dallas hasn't made anything. Philadelphia. I'm, I'm shocked. I am. I am shocked that Philadelphia still has not made a move. Uh, very happy with the three out of four. Very happy. I just cannot believe Philadelphia has not made a move yet, except for re-signing Lawton, which once again, like I said before, it doesn't mean anything for the season. Doesn't mean anything for this season. What a shame. What a shame. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing Yankees. I don't know yet. Soon, hopefully. I agree with your dad. They don't want to play for Quinn. He's very upset. He's very upset about David Quinn. Eh, I can't blame him. I mean, you guys don't pull it out of your ass. You know what you're talking about. You see it too, so. Uh, thoughts on the Wild? I think they can do some damage in the playoffs. We'll see. Uh, what do I think about David Quinn coaching so far? See, like, I'm different. I don't, like, as I know the Rangers... Like, they're not supposed to be winning right now, and a lot of fans want them to win. And like my dad said, they don't want to play for him. I don't know if that's true or not. None of us do. It look, may, Sure, it seems like that. Sure, you can always assume that. But until the Rangers are supposed to start winning and he's doing a bad job, then that's when, that's when their problem. That's where the problem is. That's where the problem is. Um, sure, like I said before, I'd love for the Rangers to win this year. I would love that, but it's not it's it's not expected of them and they don't have to. You know? And until that, Quinn's fine. But what do you want me to do? Everyone hates him. Uh, I'm not, I don't I don't defend him. I'm just saying. I don't defend most of his moves. I defend in the moves he made the other night, switching the lines. Once Kraft said that penalty looks like crap, boom, get off that line, put Kraft up in the first line, play great. You know? Like, when you mix lines, it's going to be either bad or good. You know, it was all in between. We're like, oh, this line looked good. This line looked okay. It's wondering if it's either good or bad. And he did a really good job the other night. Congo had the second least amount of ice time last night. Just two minutes more than Brett Howden. How is that? It's a 60-minute it's a game, Nisa. How, like, how do you expect? It just is what it is. It just is what it is. Like, it just happens. You know, it's all game management. Some coaches can't manage the game properly to give 20 minutes each to every player. It's hard. 
in an empty arena, I'll patiently wait for my teams to win. Exactly, Ricky. Exactly. Exactly. All right, so we got a half hour for the trade deadline. When are they supposed to be winning, Cole? It's next year or then the year after. They're still developing, man. The kids are young. The kid line should have gotten more time than KZB last night. I do agree with you. I do agree with you. But that's from our eyes. But I don't know. All right, I'm going to use the bathroom one more time. And then the final clutch half hour. We have 27 minutes and 18 seconds left till the end of the deadline. We'll be right back. Uh, Attilo. We'll be back. And we'll talk a lot, all right? We'll be back. Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit Versace on my wrist Baby, make a wish You could sell your Rari But you can't afford my outfit
All right, home stretch here. 23 minutes left in the trade deadline. Uh, NHL Network's actually talking about breaking down the goalie trade market. We haven't seen any goalies getting moved except for Devin Dubnik going to Colorado from San Jose. Over the last couple weeks, really, no goaltenders have been moved. We saw David Riddich. I went over that already. To Toronto. Really, that's about it, man. No goaltenders are getting moved. I think it's smart for some goal to keep some goaltenders, especially for expansion draft reasons. So, we will see. We will see. We'll see. Yeah, see, well, it's just said expansion draft. Exactly. You might have to protect a goaltender that you didn't realize you had to protect. Um, we'll know in 20 minutes. Oh, my God, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. John the Bernier, too, could have got moved. Even Thomas Grice in Detroit could have got moved, too. Think about it. Should the should they put Kako in the first power play unit? Um, no, nah, I think Booch should be there. Honestly, I think they do need Booch on that on that wing. But I mean, Stromer's not bad on that. You know what do you do? Guys, nervous. <laughs> That's how James. <laughs> uh, will you be streaming the expansion draft slash posting a reaction? That's like months away. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> I hope I'll be able to do that. Um. Yeah, most likely I'll do that. Yes, I'll most likely be doing that. Yeah, most likely. Uh, most likely we'll be doing coverage for that. Uh, yeah, I mean, sure, we know that 3 o'clock hits 3 o'clock, but we, are, we all know that trades fall in after that. So trickle in, as I'd like to say. Rangers got to switch it up with the first power play unit. Having four righties makes no sense. Um, no, it's all righties. It's, oh, no, Kreitz is in front of the net. Eh, whatever. Listen, their power play is hit or miss. It was, it's been hot, but... Yeah, man, nothing really moving right now. Let me be honest with you. Go to a Yankees slash Rangers game. <laughs> Would love to. I can't believe Philadelphia has not made a move. I am shocked. I as of right now, I have them and Tam, uh, them and uh, uh, Dallas as my losers. Teams who are on the cusp, supposed to be making moves, supposed to be adding pieces to try to get themselves over that hump and into the divisional playoffs. They are not making moves, and I am shocked. I am I am flabbergasted. When the Devils beat the Rangers tomorrow, I want at least one couch lap. <laughs> we'll see what the vibes are tomorrow, Ricky. We'll see what the vibes are. Philly somehow signed someone to a five-year deal. Yeah, it was Scott Lawton, which it doesn't pertain to this season at all, his extension. It's all about next year and the years after. Five years, three million a year. Like That's not a move for this year. It, they could have traded Lawton if he didn't resign. I think it was a situation where Crider last year when they, it was either, yo, we're trading you today or you're going to resign. That's what happened. Nolan Patrick was rumored to go. Absolutely, Nisi. Yeah. Yeah, he was rumored to go. He might even, I think he's going to get picked up by Seattle, in my opinion. Uh, did anything happen with the Rangers trade wise? No. They are expected to sign UMass defenseman who was off a national championship. They drafted him in 2019. Zach Jones are expected to sign him this week. He'll most likely come over to New York next week. Next week. Yeah, Nolan Ryan, right? <laughs> oh, we got a break. We got a break. We have a break. A trade is in the works to send Sam Bennett to Florida. So finally... Finally, breaking news. Nah, 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 nah. Breaking news. Sam Bennett, who was rumored to go from Calgary for the last couple of years now, he is going to the Florida Panthers. It looks like the Rangers were rumored on him a little bit. So, as of right now, we have Sam Bennett to Florida. Don't know what it could be for, but that's what it's looking like. That is what it's looking like.
18 minutes left. That's kind of like a big one. That's a big one. I wouldn't say the stash or the player, but just because of what's been going around on Sam Bennett so long, I think that's a good move for Florida. I don't know what the return is. I don't know what the return is. This is breaking news, Justin. Breaking news. Playoff type player, exactly. You see his playoff stats, you'd be impressed. You'd be impressed with Bennett's playoffs. Um, Sam Bennett to Florida, looking very, very, very likely. Who do you think it's for? Prospects, draft picks, roster player, Dadanov. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Coach Q. Coach Q getting a guy like Sam Bennett. Getting a guy like Sam Bennett. So, yeah, Calgary's selling. Believe it or not. I mean, we already knew we already knew uh, Bennett was most likely to get moved within this year. Um, that looks like it's happening. David Rich to Toronto traded. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm expecting to negotiate trade. Yeah, I hope not, but me too. Me too. All right, all right. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. There's a better player. I think this is a good pickup for Florida. Depth, straight depth. I think that's all it is. Um, that's straight depth. Hey, when the Rangers were bringing up Red Baron, can't wait. Yeah, Morgan Baron's gonna be sick. Thank you for the two dollars, man. I appreciate it. Uh, Bennett for Bobrovsky? No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you for the two dollars, uh, sp uh, Spazraz. I appreciate it. Uh, the Rangers, I don't know. Probably not. Oh, Eric Gustafson just got traded to Montreal. So here we go, guys. Here we go. We're gonna start seeing a lot of stuff moving around. Eric Brands into Montreal. Um, another defensive player, another defenseman going to Montreal. I'm guessing that's also an ex like you know for Mete spot. Uh, so now they got John Merrill and Eric Branson on the back end. Oh, Tom, man, I appreciate that. Thank you. You're so kind. You're so kind. Okay, so Eric Gustafson to Montreal. Um, okay. Huh. Yeah. And if you're not picking up what I'm putting down right now, you know what team Eric Gustafson plays for. Which I don't understand. All right, so Philadelphia trades Eric Gustafson to Montreal. Don't know the return. The Calgary Flames trade Sam Bennett to the Florida Panthers. Don't know what for in return. We are 14 minutes away from the trade deadline. This is absolute chaos. We're starting to see a lot of stuff come through. Sam Bennett is being traded to Florida for a second-round pick and a prospect. Sam Bennett's return, you could argue, is better than what Taylor Hall, but Buffalo got for Taylor Hall. You could argue that. You could legitimately argue that. You could legitimately argue that. Sure, you threw Lazar in with Hall and got Bjork, an established player, and a second-round pick, but you got a second-round pick and a prospect. Wow, okay. Um, and then a former Calgary Flame gets moved to Montreal. Eric Branson, a defenseman for the Flyers. He only played, he's only played 24 games this season for Philadelphia. He's actually got 10 points in 24 games. Um... A guy who put 60 points up as a Blackhawk. This guy's got potential. I like the move from Montreal. I like that Montreal went out and got a guy like John Merrill and Eric Branson, especially after getting rid of Mete. I was going to say losing Mete, but you kind of like got rid of him. Um, so, yeah, this isn't a good look for Philadelphia, I'm going to be honest with you, especially with what your defense is looking like going forward. The Philadelphia Flyers, their big problem is defense and like how they played, what their uh, – what their identity is on their black on their back end, and right now they just traded one of their better defensemen, in my opinion, um, Emil Heinemann, taken second round last year, equivalent of two seconds. So it's basically 
Sam Bennett for two second round picks. Uh, the second round pick is in 2022, and Emil Hainman is was the second round pick last year. Batting into Dallas for uh, 2022 second round pick. Um, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Hold on. Sorry. One second. One second. Okay. Uh, and they lost Lazar. That's true. Uh, how do I feel about that? It's a Dallas for 2020, second, uh, 2020 round pick. Uh, it was a waiver claim. It was a waiver claim, so they, they didn't give up anything up. Uh, they didn't give anything up for Vatnin. Philly is done. They're, pa- they're packing it up, I guess. That's crazy, man. Uh, Habs are getting defenseman Eric Gustafson from the Flyers. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. I uh, don't know what the return is for that yet, but Eric Gustafson is going to Montreal. We have 12 minutes left. This is crazy now. Okay. I like this move for Florida, by the way. I think he can play very well under Coach Q. Um, am I am I overrating Eric Gustafson? I, I don't think I am. I don't think I am. Sure, he's had some injuries and sure, slowed down production a little bit. But he was just traded from the Philadelphia Flyers for a seventh round pick in 2022. In next year's draft. What? A seventh round pick for Eric Gustafson? Oh my gosh, Philadelphia. What? And the Flyers retain half of his salary, but I don't think he was getting paid that much. How much was he getting paid? Hold on. How much was he getting paid? Not Florida. She should still be on Philadelphia's roster. Eric Gossifson. $3 million? He said he's in UFA next year. He's 29 years old. You got a seventh round pick. Oh, my God. You got a seventh round pick. Philly, what are you doing? Philly, what are you doing? Oh, my God. I don't like that trade for Philadelphia at all. Mark Bergevin, you snake. How? How? Tell me, Michigan all day. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. Wow. Wow. I don't think I'm overhyping Gustafson at all. I know the kind of player he is. He's a big dude. Plays with a lot of grit. Put up 60 points in one season as a defenseman. Three years ago, I think. It was three or two, two or three years ago. Put up 60 points with Chicago. Oh, my gosh. This might be one of the biggest deals Mark Bergeron's ever made if they can extend him. I, I know I'm overhyping this, definitely, but Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. That is a crazy, crazy trade for Montreal. Forget about Kulikov. Forget about thinking Kulikov was a good trade. You just got good Gustafson. Eric Gustafson, my goodness. Oh, my. I'm not from Michigan. I'm from uh, Long Island. Philly is a mess right now. If Patrick somehow got traded, that's the cherry on top. We got eight minutes left. Well, we, we'll probably got like another half hour left. I'm not going to lie. Probably another half hour of this. I'm not going to lie. Um, But that's actually insane. That's actually crazy. That's actually insane. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. Uh, I got you, Toe Man. All day, all day. I uh, don't want trouble, God, man. Don't care about football at all, actually. Okay. So we got. All right. Well, this is, we're in the final ten minutes now. So, uh, the calls need to get through by th- in the next seven minutes. I like the Aaron Gustafson to Montreal move. I like that a lot. 
Uh, I feel Bennett is going to excel in Florida. Eh, I don't know. But I think he's going to be a really good fit for the playoffs. You know? I think he's definitely got that potential, Rick. That he's a good playoff player. Playoff player. Absolutely. Playoff performer. Playoff performer. Playoff performer. Seven minutes left in the deadline. Da 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 da. I'm nervous. Um. You think we see Cole Caulfield? You think we see Cole Caulfield make his NHL debut this year? He's been good in Laval in the two games. He got like three goals in two games. Yeah, Zach Panther, Sam Bennett. Is Eichel going to be good in Minnesota? Well, he's definitely not traded to Minnesota. Oh, man. Uh, I... I would say that Bennett trade probably tops it right now. As biggest of the day. Unless you include Hall as being and Carter as today. Big for playoff implications. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Wild Blue's going to game it to be canceled tonight due to Minnesota having to finish their riding. Uh, having to finish their riding in the show. No way, really? Shanahan? Shanahan was a beast. <laughs> My thing cut out when I asked about Jones what happened. Is he going to play? Next week, most likely, he'll be in New York. He's got to go through a COVID protocol and sign his entry-level deal. Oh, actually, to Florida. Florida actually gets a sixth-round pick, too. Florida gets a sixth-round pick and Sam Bennett. And Calgary gets a second-round draft pick in 22. And a second-rounder, Emil Heinemann, who was drafted last year. You know what? I like that move by Florida. And I like that move by Calgary, too. That's a really good return. For a guy who you did not want in your roster anymore, probably he was asked for a trade. Um, yeah, surprise the Wild did nothing. I play. Uh, I don't play any sports now. I play hockey and baseball. That's it. I shouldn't say I don't, but yeah, play hockey and softball now. Actually, surprise the Wild did nothing. Um, yeah, they were cautious. They were cautious. They were very cautious. Last minute line I trade. Hmm. Hmm. Lisa, nice try. I saw that on Twitter just now. I'm glued to Twitter. I just saw you quote it, so nice try. We had Lucky Jones on the championship because if you didn't, you wouldn't have to come over this year. That's true. He already got what he came for. Will the Rangers do anything? Well, we shall see. Remember D'Angelo for Bennett? Yep. Yep, Rangers were in on Bennett. Yeah, nice try, Nisa. <laughs> line A scares me now. I don't, well, I mean, I think you got to put line in a system where it's just complete offensively. Uh, how? What? Why would your hard job? What do you think they could have possibly done? Come on. All right, it's two fifty-five. The pressure's on. Oh, I think Max Domi would be a good fit in New York. They wanted him a while ago too. I wanted him a while ago at least. The Charlotte County seemed to be polished. Come on. So what is that? What kind of emoji even is that? Oh, man, I'm nervous. Will Eiserman do anything? Most likely uh, Bernier, I would think, but he hasn't gotten the word, so. Right? Bernier's on Detroit. Where am I bugging out? Oh, man, wait a minute. Goalies, goalies. Yeah, Bernier. I was thinking Bernier gets moved, but so far nothing. I would think I, I was hoping Bernier got moved. Uh, you think he can make a move for Domi? I think he'd be a good fit here. What would I get up, give up for him? I don't know. Columbus might not answer too much, really. Rangers need a good center like Leas Anderson. Yeah. Messed up. Messed up. No room for Domi. If you play center, there's room. He has to play center. He has to. I don't want him as a winger. Yeah, none of this. We have two minutes left. Did we see a Carolina trade last second? Most likely, it'll be the Rangers. <laughs> Scott Nieder Niedermeyer's son just signed somewhere, I'm guessing. Yeah, signed. I don't know. It's like not a league I've ever heard of. Uh, will the Rangers make any trades before the trade deadline? I don't think so. I don't think so. I knew this coming in, too. I knew it coming in. Heel and Strom can't be bumped down. No, Jason, I was mentioning earlier that Filipino has potential to even be a top-line center. 
and getting a getting a better center than Zabanajad or Strom will bump Heedle and Strom down, which isn't smart. Like you gotta find a medium third, fourth line center that can win faceoffs, play penalty kill even. That's that's what I want. That's crazy. I think Kako's played a hundred games. Yeah, it doesn't even feel like it, especially with the shortened season last year too. It's crazy. All right, it is two fifty eight. Oh my god. One minute forty seconds. Uh, uh. He's gonna be in the Eichel trade, Ricky. <laughs> oh baby, I miss when the Rangers used to make moves and like get big tickets. Ah, what were some good ones? Eric Stahl, Marty St. Louis. Eric Stahl was brutal though. That return, what he did for us. I shouldn't say the return, but what we got, what we, what he did was terrible. Strom has completely proven himself to be. Yeah, absolutely. I think he's a second line center. First line center in Buffalo. <laughs> uh, funny story about you and the Yankees Rangers, please. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. That's hard to get into right now. Get into that another time. All right. Calls have to be in by 3 o'clock in the next minute. We have one minute to go. Here in the trade deadline. Oh, the trade deadline clock is on. We're up and running. Rick Nash trade deadline. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Zach. That's very true. No, I don't play any video games. I play Valorant. That's it. Oh, my God. Every every call needs to be made right now. The calls need to be made right now. Jeff Gordon, was you, is he on the phone? Do you think he's on the phone? Is he on the phone? Oh, my God. Twenty-five seconds left. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, very underwhelming deadline. Absolutely. Trades can still happen after the three PM deadline. They have to get processed and that takes a little while, but the call needs to be made before three o'clock. Like, hey, we're gonna do this, but it needs to be processed. Like right now that could happen and this trade might not get announced for another half hour, forty five minutes. Like the Bennett trade probably happened an hour ago. And that's it, it's three o'clock. No more trades. It's over. It's done. We'll see what happens in the next few minutes. All right. Great deadline, guys. Really do. Really, really good deadline. Fun deadline. I'm sure you guys loved that. A little underwhelming. But Colorado did a really good job. They got Soderberg back. They got some goaltending depth in Dubnik. They got Patrick Nemeth and Jonas Johansson. You know what? Small things for them. Small things for them. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. The San Jose Sharks acquired 2022 fifth round pick draft. Oh, that was a three-team deal. Yeah, for Jan Mark. Okay, so that trade just went through. The Jan Mark trade just went through. Uh, it's confirmed. I'm going to wait until I see it on this, and then I'll be able to understand which moves. Nikita Zadorov stayed put in Chicago. Blackhawks were listening, but nothing made them blink. They're happy to keep him. Big Nikita Zadorov. Big defenseman. Um, yeah, all right. So, yeah. Well, imagine missing the whole deadline for school. Though, couldn't be me. <laughs> How would you feel if Marshawn came to New York? Uh, I don't think my dad would be too happy. Okay. So, we'll see what happens in the next few minutes. We'll see what happens. All right, we'll see. Um, I personally think the Rangers did a good job by not moving anyone. Yes, mother. But this was a pretty under underwhelming trade deadline. What's up, ma? Yeah, what's up?
on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. You could sell your Rari, but you can't afford my outfit. Versace on my wrist, baby, make a wish. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, very underwhelming trade deadline. Oh, Ben Hutton to Toronto. There it is. I'm telling you, we're going to see some trickles. Ben Hutton, defenseman uh, to Toronto. Uh, yes. So, Ben Hutton signed with Anaheim in the offseason after playing for Vancouver uh, da, 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 and, and L.A. And now he is in Toronto. So, he goes back to Canada. He's played only in the Pacific Division in his career. Now he will go over to Toronto. Okay, so finally, the details of the Yanmar trade coming in. I'm going to list them off right here. So, Vancouver, Vancouver, Vegas acquires Matias Yanmark, half retained, half retained from San Jose. So, Chicago traded him through San Jose, the retained half of it. Vegas got a fifth round pick for that. Uh, Chicago, I'm sorry, San Jose, I am should have posted this. Nah, way too much, way too much, way too much. You know what, I'm just going to show you the screen. I'm just going to show you the screen. Uh, comp. All right, here we go. So, this is the Yanmar trade. Uh, this is the Yanmar trade. So, Yanmark to Vegas. He went through San Jose, half the salary. Uh, Chicago got a 2021 second rounder and a 2022 third rounder. And that's also the Bennett trade right there. And we went over that already. So, yes. Liddy, 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 Liddy. All right. Um, and now Ben Hutton to Toronto for a mid-round pick. So, we'll see what year that is. Uh, we'll see what year, uh, round that is. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Felino have to quarantine? Yes, Felino has to probably quarantine. Trade deadline is over, but we will see some trades trickling in. Uh, thank you for replying to my comments. You don't know how much this means. I don't know the cry of happiness. Thank you, God, man. I appreciate that, man. All right, all right. Felino, yes. Felino has to quarantine. He does. He won't be in Toronto until next week. Or, yeah, it's a seven-day quarantine now. Zach, I'm very shocked at the three-way reta salary retention deals. I'm very shocked, Zach. I have not seen this many in a while. I'm going to be honest. Is there usually this much salary being retained? I read that already. Yeah, no, I don't think there is. Uh, biggest trade so far this season? Probably the Line A Dubois blockbuster was pretty big. At the deadline, my favorite one is probably Carter to Pittsburgh. I think that helps him out a lot. Um, and obviously the big fish was Taylor Hall, so he was the Boston. That's what happens. That's what happens. Um, yeah, I think I think Ranger fans can take a sigh of relief here. I don't think anyone was moved. Um, looks like Jeff Gordon most likely had some deals being made. I think he will talk most likely. So we'll see. We have so many D men, and not all of them can make it. Not sure what's gonna happen. Um, yeah, the defense. The Rangers have a plethora of defensemen. That's why if they got rid of the Angela last year, I would have been alright with it, but they didn't. Good Branson and Nashville. No, nah, it went to Montreal. All oh, I'm thinking about Gustafson. Wow, I read Gustafson. They have the same first name. That's why. Yes, I read Branson to Nashville. Good call, Ricky. Ricky the Insider. Um, Ricky the Insider. He went to Nashville and uh, Barbanov to San Jose. San Jose's making moves. Excuse me. Right, Jason? They should just yeah, I mean, but they would have asked why you traded him. Try to be sneaky. Um Good Branson in Nashville. Yep. For a for a seventh round pick in twenty twenty three. You know what? That's a good return for Ottawa. Just stock up on the draft picks. Smart. Um Ben Hunting to the Leafs for a fifth round pick next year. Uh, and barbing off to San Jose. I they had to make room. I'm guessing, right?
Yeah, so I'm guessing Barbanov. I mean, that's a really. I don't know what San Jose could have given up for Barbanov, but I like that for San Jose. Barbanov is 28, 26. Uh, Toronto Maple Leaf left winger, no longer. Only played 13 NHL games. So we'll see what happens for that. He's been playing in, uh, for the Marlies. But you can see San Jose selling. Uh, I'm sorry, and I have the, uh, the return for a good Branson in Nashville is a Brandon Fort, Fortunato and a seventh. So they had a prospect. I don't really know him. And a seventh. <laughs> the team I'm afraid of this season with the players, Tampa, especially when Kucherov returns. Very true. They're bringing up Brown. Hope so. Soon. Maybe next year. Devils are done. Keeping Ryan Murray. Good. Are uh, you surprised that the guy from the NHL never thought the Sabres would get Heesher and Hughes for Eichel and someone else? Never will happen. That won't happen. Read last. I'm sorry. I saw the lights and I kind of just like skipped it. Uh, breaking news, Tony D'Angelo has been traded to the New York Recreational League for a better locker room attitude. It's pissed. <laughs> All right, lit. Lit. All right, I think that's going to actually wrap up the deadline. I don't think there, I don't think anything could fall through again, right? It's 310. Might. The biggest news for the New York Rangers has been Jack. Ja oh, I keep saying Jack Zones. Zach Jones, uh, that's the biggest Rangers move. I mean, the quiet teams like Philadelphia, man, Dallas, I'm surprised. On the cusp of trying to, even St. Louis. Even St. Louis not making too many moves. Um, they didn't make any moves, actually, now that I think about it. So, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, Zach Jones is huge, yep. Uh, think about it, like, like about the channel, he reads every comment, love it, thank you so much. Toe man, no problem, man. Thank you. It's hard to read all of it, when, especially like after a Ranger game. All of you guys are just like spamming. It's hard to read all of it, but I do try to get to all of it. A lot of people thought Jamie Alexiak was going to get moved. Yeah, I mean, I'm really surprised a lot of these teams didn't make moves. Like, I'm surprised Dallas really didn't make moves. You know, I, I mean, the only reason why Jamie Alexiak could have gotten moved was because he was he, he, he is a UFA at the end of this year. You know, but... Ah, oh, man, I can't believe it. I'm surprised Philadelphia didn't make the moves. I really think they could have made the moves. Who do you think is winning the deadline? I'm Listen, I like P Pittsburgh only made one move, and they got a very good center that could fit in their system. The Islanders only made two moves, but very well for their core. Today, the winner, in my opinion... Chicago did what they had to do, getting rid of their players, getting stuff in return. They got some draft picks. Um, the Devils, same thing. They got some draft picks. They even got Jonas Siegenthaler to play on their team this year. Um, Columbus sold. They didn't do a bad job selling. Tampa Bay had a really good buying deadline. Toronto had a really good buying deadline. Boston, not so much, man. I, I mean, Boston, obviously, you got Taylor Hall. You got Taylor Hall. That's who you wanted. We'll see what happens. It was a it was a very quiet deadline. It was definitely a buying deadline. You could tell a lot of teams were buying at cheap prices. You know, I feel like teams want to get into the playoffs for that revenue, but with no attendance, it's so much less. Why bother squeaking in and getting smoked by the abs? I mean, you're just gonna try to do whatever you want to win. You know, the guys in that locker room don't understand that they want to win. Uh, Columbus, but yeah, Columbus had a good deadline in terms of selling. Yeah. Pretty interesting, but underwhelming. Yeah, definitely underwhelming. It is, it is what it is with this, you know. Like I said, it was a buying deadline where teams bought players at cheap prices. Uh, who do you see the Rangers getting during free agency? Uh, center and some more depth, like they did last year. Uh, Rangers have a favorable schedule these next 10 games. Does this increase our chances? Sure. If you had to pick your favorite current player from the Devils, who would it be? I like Hughes. Uh, Kincaid should be in the ECHL. Ricky hates Kincaid. <laughs> Thank God Goche he didn't get moved yet. I mean, he's still a free agent, so... He'll be a UFA or whatever, RFA, RFA, at the end of the season. So, um, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Just I don't want to miss anything. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I'm like I said, I said this weeks ago, and actually, I probably said this a couple months ago. They're not gonna buy. They're not gonna sell. They're gonna make hockey deals. Jeff Gordon didn't have a hockey deal. There it is. There it is. They have four third round picks. Uh, three fourth round picks this year. So. They didn't need draft picks this year. Trust me. How much longer do you plan on live? Uh, I'm going to wait probably another 20 minutes for make sure I don't miss anything. And then we're going to hop out. We're going to hop out. 
My gut says one more move will go down. Yeah, I'm thinking at least one more. Because I'm because I'm trying to do the time in my head where if there was a move made at 2.59, if there was a call made, it probably won't hit the air until 3.30, 3.45. So, I haven't heard the Rangers are done. Nah, the, the Rangers didn't even start. What do you mean they're done? They didn't even start this deadline. Surprise no goalies moves for us. I like it though. You know, just keep it. Just keep it. You know, you have time to move. Like the expansion draft is key. That's why too. The expansion draft is gonna be big. Anyone else want to see Taylor Hall in in Seattle or is it just me? I really want to see Taylor Hall in Seattle. Blues are done. I can't believe. I can't believe these are my teams that I'm very shocked to not make moves that I thought they had to make moves. Um, the Dallas Stars, the Philadelphia Flyers, and. Uh, and the St. Louis Blues, who are on the cusp of trying to make the playoffs. They should make the playoffs. They didn't make any moves. The expansion draft is in June, right before the entry draft. I think it's the night before the dra uh, uh, NHL entry draft. Jack Jones is going to be a star. I'm excited, yeah. Hockey trivia, who invented the Michigan move? Nah, some guy in Michigan, I think. <laughs> I think the Rangers should have traded for some toughness. Nah, they're not going to buy or sell in that capacity. No, there was no point for that. For the expansion, though, Shesty isn't eligible, so we just protect Georgiev. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless they want to expose Georgiev. I don't know. Lego was his name. Legio. Lego. Have not seen any movement yet. The expansion draft is going to be on July 21st. Yeah. Yeah. It's usually June 21st and then the draft the day after or two days after. Um, but it's going to be all moved a month ahead because of the delay of the season and stuff. Uh, do you think the Jones signing was done to prevent him from walking as a UFA? Jones who? Who's Jones? Thoughts on the Sam Bennett trade? I like it. I like it a lot for Florida, and I love the return for Calgary. Oh, talking about Zach Jones, duh. Um, to prevent him walking as UFA? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's a he's a he's a draft pick of the Rangers. They want they want him here. So I didn't understand. No, no. That's not because that's not the reason why they signed him. <laughs> sure, sure, but like Carolina traded Hayden Flurry. Carolina traded Hayden Flurry. Waiting to confirm where. Oh my god. The Flyers are selling. They just traded Michael Roffle. To Washington. They're selling. What? What? Michael Roffle is being traded from the Philadelphia Flyers to the Washington Capitals. They are legit selling. And I can't believe Hayden Flurry to Anaheim. Hayden Flurry to Anaheim. Hayden Flurry to Anaheim. Michael Roffle to Washington. Didn't they just re-sign Roffle? One year left at 1.6. Yeah, it was a one-year deal, wasn't it? Or am I bugging out? No, yeah, it was a two-year deal. Two-year deal. Two-year deal. I mean, Ruffle hasn't been as good as he used to be, but like, still, still, he was a big piece of that. He was a big piece of that lineup for Philadelphia. I cannot believe what Philadelphia is doing. Like, wait, like, all right. When I read the Hayden Flurry thing, I was shocked, and then I scrolled down a little bit. All of a sudden, it says Michael Ruffle in the Washington. I want to know what the Ruffle return is. I don't. I don't. I don't. I can't expect. I don't even know. These are huge trades. These are huge trades. Who is that? Who is Sab's son? <laughs> I 
Okay. Uh, Canes have too many good D-men. They can't protect me. Special drive makes sense to get something for Flurry. It's Ducks get a fifth round pick. Oh, no. Ducks get a fifth round pick from Lee's for Ben Hunt. He has a way behind. Come on, Angel Network. Who's even talking? Who is this guy? David? No, that's not David Pagnota. It looks like it's a big deal for Anaheim. Anaheim and, uh... Wow, alright. Everyone, everyone alright? Everyone alright? Josh Manson, probably? Okay. Twitter is kind of stalled. Okay. Stop talking about Taylor Hall. There's moves being made right now. I don't understand these guys. I'm way behind. This was talking about Taylor Hall. I'm good, but damn, this is so much out. This is... Uh, okay, I really need to know the return. I really need to know the return for Raffle. I need to know. I want to see it be like a six-round pick. That must have been a last second ditch to get Raffle or to get rid of Raffle, I should say, for Fli for Philadelphia's sake. Oh my goodness! 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 Go to ESPN two. They're quick in the coverage. I don't even have ESPN two. Oh, do, do I? Oh wait, they're covering the deadline. Oh, they are. Oh. Oh. Oh, I did not mean to hit that. Oh, yeah, keep it easy. Keep it ESPN. I'll keep it ESPN. Keep it ESPN until 4 o'clock. Uh, crossing fingers is not uh, Rick Rack going to. Carolina fifth rounder for raffle fifth round fifth rounder what did I say six that was close <laughs> that was close yeah that must have been a last ditch effort to just get rid of raffle damn that's a weird trade uh it's very it's shocking in my opinion uh f poor Philly Michael raffle was a good good flyer man he was a really good flyer I don't know where he fits in Washington, but respect it. I definitely respect that. Ah, uh, Raquel. <laughs> Ricard Raquel to Carolina for Flurry. Could be. You guys were talking about that before. Could be. Could be. Flyers traded Raffle for some feathers. You look confused on the nickname. What nickname? Oh, Rick Rock. Yeah, I, I kind of just, it kind of went over my head. I apologize. Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Uh, Rangers planning on moving Smith because when Jones comes, what are they going to do? Taxi squad and expanded rosters. They'll be fine. They're not going to move anyone. So I'm at the deadline. I'm at the trade deadline. Jordy Ben to Winnipeg. Okay. So Vancouver sends Jordy Ben to Winnipeg. Defensive depth for the Jets. It's Yanni Han Hak Anapa. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. It's defenseman Hak Anpa. And a pick to Anaheim for Hayden Flurry. Might be a steal for Anaheim. I don't know anything about the, the Hanapaka guy. 
Jordy Ben to the Jets. I like that move for Winnipeg. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah, the boring deadline. Yeah, no shot. No shot. This is getting yeah, intense. They'll probably slow down. It's a sixth round pick for Jordy Ben. So Vancouver gets a sixth round pick in exchange for Jordy Ben to Winnipeg. Winnipeg adds another defenseman. I think that was that's their first move of the day, I think. Right? They didn't make any other moves. Tommy, good morning. We have deadline coverage today. It's actually over, but Ezra, the deadline ended at 3 o'clock, but there are still some trades getting processed through that are trickling in. Yes, I'm on ESPN. I'm, I'm on Evan. I'm on ESPN now, Zach. I am. I'm watching, it's TSN, though. It's TSN, which I like better than sports than anyway. Sorry, but... <laughs> Sap son. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, six round for bed. That last minute shade trade was last year. Yep. Yep, last minute shade trade was definitely last year. Um, I wonder if Winnipeg was interested in Brendan Smith. And maybe the price wasn't good enough for Cause if let's just say Gordon retained half of Smith, that would have been the same amount as Ben. You think Ben's better than Smith? All of a sudden, the Flyers go from top five and lower rankings before the season to probably now being 15 or above. You're right. You're right. Jacob, my man, what's going on? Oh, AB. All right, all right, all right. I got you. <laughs> the Peggers wanted Smithy. I, I, I feel like you could have easily gotten Brendan Smith for half of his thing. Madison Bowie to Vancouver. Madison Bowie. Bowie. I say Bowie. Chicago making another move. It's Madison Bowie to Vancouver. Okay. Okay. Chicago. See, like, that's weird for Chicago. Oh, that's weird for Vancouver, really. They're selling, or are they not? They got Bowie now. All right, it's a six-round pick for Jordy Ben, and Chicago trades Madison Bowie to Vancouver. Marty Buron looking good. Marty Buron looking good. The Rangers have not traded anybody yet. So many sniped that Bardowski goal yesterday, so they were probably, yeah, right? 10 years, 200 mil. Good trade deadline for Chicago as well. Very good trade deadline. I don't know why you send Bowie to Vancouver, though. Like, not from Chicago's perspective, but from Vancouver's perspective, like... Sure, you just got rid of Jordy Ben. And you sure you could replace him with Bowie, but I feel like Bowie would have like maybe flipped Bowie. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Son, relax, AB. <laughs> Didn't get to watch a game last night. Uh, saw we we won, but who scored? Uh, Hayek and Smith for the Rangers. AB, AB, AB. Funny, funny, funny. Uh, so one more rumor. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay. So. I'm really. I'm so shocked about Philadelphia, man. I really am. First good deadline for Chicago since they traded Panarin for Saad. <laughs> oh, that's a hit, Zach. It's a shot at them. Oh, okay. So Madison Bowie goes to Vancouver. A twenty twenty one fifth rounder as well goes to Vancouver. And Chicago gets a fourth rounder for this year as well. That's the deal. That's the deal. No nothing from the Rangers yet. Buddy, we actually lost not one. Mm hmm. Okay. So that's that with the Madison Bowie exchange. Madison Bowie and a fifth rounder to Vancouver for a fourth rounder to Chicago. Chicago's made so many deals today, my goodness. Chicago's made one, two, three, four, five deals since April 8th. 
and six since the second of April. They made six deals since April second. Good trade deadline for them. Good trade deadline. Kevin freaking Weeks. I cannot believe this. Hearing the Detroit Red Wings are going with Anthony Manta to the Washington Capitals for Ponick and Verana. Jacob Verana has just been traded. Wow. That's the biggest one of the day. That's the biggest one of the day, no doubt. Unreal. Unreal. I love Jacob Verana. I think he's a freaking great player. He just got traded along with Richard Ponick to Jacob Verana and then Michael Raffle. So you, you exchange Manta for Verana and you get Raffle for Ponick. Wow. Wow. This is the first one I'm actually going to quote retweet. Weeksy and actually tweet. Oh my gosh. That's the big one. That's the big one. That's the big one. Washington just got deep. They got deep. You talk about a guy like Anthony Mantha, a big body, can easily play anywhere on the ice. Holy crap. Yeah, I like that from both sides. I like that from both sides. I like that from Washington side. I, I don't know why you're getting rid of Verona. I don't know. I liked Verona. I think he's a very good player. He was very similar to Carl Hagelin. Not as fast as Hagelin, but he's very similar to Carl Hagelin. Now that they have Carl Hagelin, they might not even have use for Verona, and that's why they got rid of him. Wow. That's a great trade all around. Definitely the biggest one in the day, in my opinion. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Go up against that Washington Capital team. Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Holy. The deal also includes first and second round picks. So, I'm guessing they're getting, they're going to Detroit. What a freaking trade by Stevie Y. Holy crap, what a trade. Eh, everyone's texting me about that now. Wow. Manta way better than Verona. Um, yeah, but I think Verona plays differently. I just liked Verona. Why get rid of him? What's his contract? Did he, didn't he just resign? Washington Capitals. Jacob Verona. He's got one year left at 3.3. Okay, fine. Ponick. Richard Ponick is, uh, he's not even on the roster. He's on the taxi squad. He's at 1.6. Three years left at 1.6. I'm guessing they traded away their first round this year, their second round next year, their second round this year maybe. And then Anthony Manta, who's been roaming around to leave Detroit for the last few seasons, finally gets traded. He's at 5.7 for the next four years. Oh, my goodness, what a trade. What a trade. Steve Eiserman, what a trade. Wow. Sorry, Isles fans and Caps run this division. Let me tell you. I liked the raffle. I liked the raffle acquisition. I really did. But now you add a guy like Anthony Mantha who can score goals. That That's a deep team in Washington, man. That's a deep team in Washington. Oh, Verona crying right now, packing his bags for Detroit. That sucks for him and Panic. How do the Caps have cap, literally? Um, well, Panic had a big con- Like, they both had big contracts. So, the Capitals' situation was... 
Haglin had, I'm sorry, Verona 3.3, and Panic was at 2. So 5 million, and then, and then you just, yeah, they, they're going to be able to manip manipulate it. They will. They're going to manipulate it. Um, yeah. And with Char on the caps is deadly too. True, true, true. We need Rangers news. No trade. No trade. Rangers news. Jeff Gordon. We made a number of calls. Took a number of calls. Went through a number of scenarios, and it's clear we have a place, in, a plan in place. Nothing that came along was going to add what we wanted to do, and something we felt was going to help us, short term or long term. What did I say? Hockey deals only. Nothing could get done. Good moves. Tweeting it, tweeting it right now. Smart. 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 Really is. Really is smart. Smart moves by the Rangers, in my opinion. I'm sorry, but I know a lot of you guys wanted Hayek, Howden, John. It's not going to happen. Um... Yeah, let me tell you, this East Division just got 10 times better with the acquisitions made. Definitely. Wings getting a first, so trade makes more sense now. Yeah, they're going to probably get the first and the second. Because I think there's also a second round pick involved. I don't know which year, though. The Rangers were the only team in the division who didn't make a move like in the last couple weeks. Rangers are the only team. Philadelphia sold some pieces. Devils sold. Buffalo sold. Boston added Hall. Pittsburgh bought Carter. Islanders, Ajax, Palmieri, Coburn. And the Capitals just made some plot, a blockbuster, in my opinion. How did P what? Gordon just made a smart move for not move, making any big moves. Absolutely, Nisa. I love it. Uh, no, I can't play Among Us right now. <laughs> I love Jeff Carter to the Penguins, Brandon. and love that move. That was my favorite move until this move right now for Mantha to Washington. And the and the Raffle exchange, too. I was confused why Ranger fans wanted Blackwell traded. Also think he's worth a first-round pick. No. No, he's not. Did I say boring? Must have mistyped. It's always after 3 p.m. that it gets intense, but I haven't seen it this intense in a while. I'm still nervous about going to the Ranger game. All right, all right. Caps Isles round two could be fun. Even the Caps Penguins again could be fun. They did trade Lemieux recently. Yeah, they did, but like that wasn't really. It was part of the deadline, but not really. <laughs> AB <laughs> had Lemieux play. I don't even think Lemieux's played for LA yet. I don't think he has. It's a text. Um, this is going to be, yeah, most likely to four o'clock, most likely to four o'clock caps, lightning cup, fi uh, conference finals. Two games. I don't, I don't know. I, I, like I said, I can't watch the West coast games. They're just, I can't, uh, Brennan Lemieux. He's not even on the main, oh no, he is on the main roster. He has played three games. Nothing. No points, no penalties, no, no assists. Yep. Uh, I'm excited to go to a Ranger game with the Garnets. It's so fun to be there. It's awesome. Uh, no, God, man, no. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, so the deal does include a first and second round picks. Okay. So, if you think about it, it's most likely going to Detroit. So, Detroit gets two players, Richard Ponick and Jacob Verano. They're able to get out of Mantha's situation and a first and a second round pick. That's a great trade for Detroit. CVY doing a trigger pull on that one. He was like, yeah, let's do it. Um, but, I like, see the Capitals... Sure, they might come out as the losers on the trade, but getting a guy like Math who can score goals, I think that's big for your team, especially going into the playoffs. They're a team that is looking to win another Stanley Cup, especially with Ovechkin. So we'll see. We'll see. Got to calm it down somehow. <laughs> 
going to any Ranger games this year? Not sure. Yeah, probably not. Detroit fans about to be hyped. They should be. Raffles underrated. Math is a nice air. Caps are a problem. Yeah. I love Raffle. I love the way that guy plays, man. I love the way that guy plays. Ken Holland says they were never in on Taylor Hall. Yeah, okay. Brandon, uh, yeah, sure. I think they're the favorite right now in the division. I just think they're so good. And the goaltending's their biggest problem. Like, can Ver- um, Vitek Vanacek, can he be that goalie? Samson ready. I said this last year, too. I said this last year that goaltending would be a problem for Washington, but it hasn't been so far. Veron, a good young player, yeah. Uh, who do you think will win this division? Caps or the Islanders? I've had that since day one. Actually, I had Philadelphia, the Islanders, since day one. What a trade. What a trade. What a trade. What a trade. Caps got fleeced. No, see, they didn't, though. Sure, they paid a lot for a guy like Anthony Mantha, but a guy like Anthony Mantha's got four years left. He scored, I'm pretty sure he scored 30 goals a few times. I wish I could just find Detroit. Anthony Mantha scored. Oh no, he's never scored thirty. He scored twenty five, twenty four. Like he's a, he's a goal scorer. He's almost had a hundred goals. He's at a hundred less points than he's had games played. There, he's here. He's here. They want him. They had to pay for the price, and they did it. Detroit's not looking to win a cup right now. They didn't make the trade to win a cup. They made the trade for the future. The Capitals made the trade to go win a cup. Mantha behind Ovi is gonna be gross. Watch it is. Verona is just as good as in my opinion. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Mantha's definitely better than Verona, but Verona has a different skill set. He's much smaller, Verona. Mantha's a much bigger power forward. Um, Mantha's got a lot more experience than uh, Verona. I think this is a very good trade for the Washington Capitals. I really do. Um, Verona's 25 at 3.5 for one more season. They might not have been able to re-sign him. And Mantha is at 3 years left at, no, I'm sorry, 4 years left. Right? Yeah, four years left this year, three more years after this one at 5.7. So you're going to assume, and he's 26. Might see some more trades here. Best deadline? Eh, in a while. It's been a good one. It's been a good one. Did the Caps get Raffle and Mantha with the Isles in mind? I don't think they got. <sighs> maybe. A couple big tough guys, strong. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Ricky, that's a good point. It's possible. It's very possible. You think more trades will come, still come in? Um, 341. I'm think, guessing no. I don't think so. Um, so Jeff Gordon was asked by Molly Walker. Um, if there was any interest on Tony D'Angelo, he said, yeah, I've had some conversations with some teams about Tony, but nothing really ever materialized and nothing lately. So that will be a summer issue we'll deal with. Um, yeah, he's, he's either going to be bought out or ideal scenario gets picked up by Seattle. Ha ha. Sports player. What's going on? Two types of trades. Good player for not so great player and some draft picks. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, Verona's getting healthy scratcher. You can't say he's better than Mantha. Verona has potential, though. That's true. Very true. I love, I like Mantha. I think he's a great fit for Washington. Look at the molding of that team. They're getting bigger. They're getting stronger. Look at Char on the back end. Like, come on. Can't predict the future. Very true, Zach. Very true. Jeff Gordon on Morgan Barron. Morgan's played extremely well, and we have four recalls. So we'd hope we'd be hopeful to give him an opportunity or anyone in Hartford who deserves it. All right. Cool. Gordon says it's unlikely Nils Lundqvist comes over after the SHL playoffs are over. More likely he'll be here for next season. He will be here for next season. Promise you that. Hayden Flurry uh, to care. Uh, Hayden Flurry to Anaheim confirmed. This division's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, Flyers are giving up. Yeah, absolutely.
All right, I'm going to take a quick break, use the bathroom, and I'll be back, and we'll hopefully not miss a trade. <laughs> Joseph, what's going on? Guys, keep it civil in chat, please. Everyone relax. Keep it civil in... Oh, no, my stream crashed. Oh, crap. Ugh. What the hell happened? No. Ooh. Great. Ah, that's tough. Can you just? Uh, can you guys hear me still? Are you here? Are you guys, are you guys still here? I see the stream. It's still playing. Yeah, is that towards me? I don't know. What happened? We can hear you. We hear you. All right. Do you see me? My stream software crashed. Stream is working. All right, but it's it's it definitely crashed. So it's not good. Close the program. All right. Let me just reboot it. 